Hey everybody. I'm here with Maureen today. Everybody welcome in. Good morning. Storm. Good morning. So we are here to interview Maureen and it's because she's got an awesome channel and she's an awesome gardener. Thank and, you. Um, I, I've really enjoyed watching your videos. I always do my homework um, preparing for these because I like to see what people are doing, what they're growing, kind of what their mentality is before I bring them up. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, my mentality, you know, you know, as a, a content creator is very different. It could be very different than, you know, my mentality as just a normal person. <laughs> No. That's true. That's true. What you present may not be real. And sometimes we <laughs> do find that out when, uh, <laughs> but what, what I've got to know a little, little bit more about you here and there, um, just being in lives with you. I've enjoyed your spirit, your, your presence. Um, you seem to have, seem to be very well grounded. Let's just say um, that. Thank you. Thank you. I, I really appreciate you saying that. I do appreciate that. So why don't we go ahead and start out with, let's tell us a little bit about your channel and why you started a channel. Um, so a little bit about my channel. Um, well, my, my channel is, uh, you know, under that umbrella of homesteading, but I'm an urban homesteader because I live, you know, in a general, um, you know, kind of city subdivision. I do have uh, the the lot is a quarter acre size. So it's um it is a little bit bigger than just, you know, the postage stamps that they're making right now. So there is a lot of growing space for me. But um I started back in 2020 and have just built it up. And 2020, you know, it was like uh, you know, well originally I'm a like I'm a jazz and blues singer and I'm a, a vocal coach and Hey, you know, so I have, I have a studio in the, in the back of my property and that's where I would teach and I would do master classes at the college and university and things like that. And, um, 2020 said, you are so non-essential. You're not allowed to go and do anything anymore. Uh -huh. And I'm a complete non- a <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yes. And, um, I'm a complete non-grower. I had no desire. I, I only like to look at what people do. And I actually used to live, there was, um, live vicariously. There was um, a man that went to my church and his channel was Sustainable Stace. And I would watch him. And it was like, that was my, my way of growing was watching someone else and seeing what they would do. And it, it was like, yeah, no, no, I can't do any of that. But it led me out into the garden, you know, cause I had nothing else to do. And so we would, you know, sit in the garden and suntan and, and then I would weed a little bit and then I just started growing and um, all like, you know, just to back up my story even more, I was a homeschooling mom when my, my children were little and I did want that whole kind of Laura Ingalls, you know, homestead life and looking after, you know, having five kids and homeschooling and let's, you know, make all our own things and have, you know, the animals. And, um, but again, growing up as a city person, it was like, yeah, Maureen, you, you, you can't do that. And, um, so here it was in my later life, my children are grown that it's like, oh, I'm actually, I actually am doing it and I actually enjoy doing it. And I wanted that, um, you know, there was a secret side to me at that time to go, I would like to be self-sufficient and self-sustainable because what the heck is going on out there? It doesn't look good. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't uh, act good. And I thought, uh, the powers that be, I would like to actually have more control over what I'm eating, what we're growing, what we're doing. So that was kind of like the part that I, I wasn't sharing out when I first started. Um, and I wasn't making, I wasn't doing videos. I didn't start my YouTube channel till 2022, but I was making just Facebook videos to show my mom what I was doing. Cause she was just in awe of the fact that um, she is a grower and she would always go, 
go out to the garden. It's so beautiful. It's so wonderful. It's so, so calming. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and it was like, ma, I loathe the garden. And so I was making these videos to show her what I was doing. Cause we talk at the end of the day and she'd go, I go, Oh, well, I made this path. And she goes, I don't know where that is in your garden. So I started videoing it. And, and so then mm -hmm. she goes, oh, what you're talking about anyway. Yeah. And, um, so in, in those videos, I'm just doing stuff, but in the back of my mind, I was secretly going, okay, I don't like that. I don't like what you guys are doing. I don't get it. And, and then it was like, and I'm going to teach my kids. So my adult children, it was like, we're going to, we're going to, um, my mom bought me a pressure canner. I was blessed with that. So it was like, we're going to learn pressure canning because my mom never did any, any pressure canning. She just had the simple, you know, pickles, jellies, jams, you know, those kinds of things. And we started cheese making and it was like, um, sourdough bread came a little bit later. That was a, that was a tougher beast for me. But anyway, and it was like, when, when my kids were little, I always said to them, or when they were teenagers, I said, okay, before you move out, you need to know how to cook a full turkey dinner. You need to know how to do, there was just a couple of, you know, kind of stupid weird things. But right. now I'm at where it's like, okay, I want you to know how to dress a chicken. I want you to know um, how to, um, you know, have water catchments so that you have water because we do pay for our water here. I want you to know how to grow. I want you to know how to do these things. And so they've come alongside and um, have learned, you know, all of this and, and are enjoying doing it with me. So mm -hmm. I think awesome. long form of my, uh, my, of my answer for you. <laughs> No, that's, that's fine. That's fine. We have the time. Um, so let's take advantage of it. So how much of your property are you using to grow? And what are you growing on your property? Um, well, right now, just the perennials that came up because I'm late uh, getting my stuff done right now. Oh, um, <laughs> oh! hi. There's Hello. Still, still canceling out the other <laughs> sounds okay sorry. it was i was listening it was it sounded really good i i'm sorry i'm a little late i'm dealing with malachi and stuff that's Ooh. okay okay hello uh, lovely hello good morning good morning miss diva and the dirt good morning miss laura <laughs> i know we never talk this morning. early in the morning i know oh my yeah. gosh thankfully i had a cup of coffee and i've been drinking my water i'm i'm trying to fill my water like marissa said first and mm -hmm. take a few sips. I can't drink a full thing yet, like before no. my coffee. No. Nope. Mm. Well, that's your goal, though. That is yes. the goal. Yes, exactly. To drink more of that before the coffee. Exactly. And eventually, mm -hmm. I will get off the coffee mm -hmm. for a while and reintroduce mm -hmm. it and see if mm -hmm. that, you know. Is so sorry, we can't. I didn't realize that somehow um, my credit card must have dropped StreamYard, so we can't share it out on everybody's channel today. But oh, okay. it's right. Next time we'll do that for sure because, um, yeah, I think the credit card that it was on, we had we had a fraudulent fraudulent charge on there, and so we had to oh, take it. Off. I I had to pull off my um, and just now too, I had to re-sign into it my uh, email because mm. I had something going on weird with it, and I pulled it off my about page because of that. Because I was mm. like, because mm -mm, that was when everybody was starting to be like, mm, there's some funny business going on on YouTube. Yeah. And sure enough, that's when I got signed out of my uh, uh, fishes and loaves um, email. So I was like, mm -mm. so how much of your property are you growing on? Um, I, you know, I wouldn't know exactly that. I just know like it's a quarter acre and then there <laughs> is a, um, you know, 3000 square foot footprint of my home my house okay. a 400 square foot uh, building that is my greenhouse studio mm -hmm. and you know shed and things like that so um yeah I wouldn't I wouldn't know the actual um square footage that's you know too technical for me I have right. a front yard a mid yard and a backyard that's what I grow in and pots so, yeah so okay girlfriend then what are you growing in the front yard and the mid yard in the backyard <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, well, the front oh, and the off property too, Diva. You oh, have yes, the off yes, property. I, I do have the off uh, off property. Um, my my garden uh, away from home. That one has uh, eight hundred and sixty garlic cloves in it right now. Uh, well, that's what we planted. Now there was some wildlife that went and went. Oh, is this something to eat? And dug up some of it. We did go back. <laughs> 
in the fall, but we haven't been actually back to check on it. And that is, you know, yeah. going away to Mexico. And then, and then last week we took a little staycation with, with uh, a couple of friends of ours. And mm -hmm. it's like, okay, now all of that is done. Now, now you need to get serious about getting planting. So I do need to go out there. I want to take my onion sets. Right now in my front garden beds, there is some garlic that is growing um, that we didn't get picked up from last year because I actually wanted to revamp the beds. Mm -hmm. And I'm one of these that, you know, when something grows and, you know, it's like, this is our food. It's like, you know, you should pluck it out because you're going to put potatoes in there. It's like, no, 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 no. And I uh -huh. left it. And it's like, I'm sure there is probably 200 garlic cloves out in my front flower bed. And the and I mean not the front flower bed, the front yard. Um, you know, right now it's just the fruit trees that are growing. I don't have anything into ground. Um, I have just recently started seedlings. I'm going to be focusing in on I like um long-term storage food. So mm -hmm. I want I like the winter squashes. I like anything that, you know, like we we just had some squash the other night like or yeah, I could put up on Saturday mm -hmm. in the Forno oven so mm -hmm. I want to have food that has that long-term storage so and I am I suck at growing onions and I suck at growing um and I should use a different language you know for that rather than yeah. just saying suck because it sounds but I'm not successful at growing carrots and I'm not successful at growing onions and so that is one of my yeah. goals this year yeah you know I lots have the same of goals so I mean <laughs> I've been successful last year. I was successful growing carrots pretty well. Mm -hmm. And so this year it's onions. We're going full board on onions this year and we're learning and watching every video we can. But um, the, the challenge is doing it organically and mm. getting a decent mm -hmm. size. onion. So yeah. Um, yeah. What's I know, really wants to know what is on this trellis, what plant in the picture? Oh, that is Luca. Lufical. Wow. So cool. Very they, cool. They, you, yours are just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to, uh, I, 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 you know, this past year I grew lufa for the first time, but, but I only got, well, I got, I had some in the backyard and those ones in the backyard that were in ground, they got about this big. Mm -hmm. And then I grew, um, two in a pot just on mm -hmm. my trellis in the front and those ones got about this big I don't think they're yeah they, they're not as big as what you've got there um and it was like that makes no sense one the ones in the pot which are in the front yes I think they no no they yeah everything gets lots of sun so even in the ones in the back mind you I did have um uh in the garden bed in the back it's right by my chicken coop and I um you know, usually in the morning when I go and just do the little poop scoop, mm -hmm. I would be flicking it into that garden bed. So it could be that the soil was um, was too rich with uh, uncomposted chicken poop. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Lufa really likes Tennessee. So okay. it's, it's our hot temperatures. It really likes it hot. Yeah. So in Oregon, when I was living there, I had the same issue. I had a lack of light, though, too. But right. it sprouts or it, it it gets those flowers so late in the season that um it just doesn't like um you know uh that that it turns so cold and wet there too so cold. right so, yeah no. yeah well i'm i'm a little um like a you know even though i'm just was just a little bit north of no Oregon. sorry not you <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm not north of you. No. <laughs> no. Well, give me. You you are a little north of where I used to live. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And um so we do have um and and you know, we don't we're not as rainy as what Vancouver would be or what as um Washington state would be. Mm -hmm. We're not we're not as rainy here. The Olympic Mountains actually kind of shelter us. So uh, but yeah, it just doesn't make sense that my in-ground ones where it's like it's bleeding hot um, right against my studio. But I think it, I'm thinking it must be the uncomposted chicken poop that was in it because um, the ones in the pot, like again, like my son comes up here and those are in the sun the whole day. Like and mm -hmm. it's it's ding ding hot uh, in my mid yard. So mm -hmm. I think I, I think um, looking at your trellises, I think that's what I was thinking. Um, I would plant in, cause I have a big 
uh, hoop trellis out in the front front yard. Mm -hmm. um, uh, now, deer do deer like loofahs? Do you think? I haven't looked I that have, up. I haven't. Well, I have a electric fence around it, so uh, um, and the rabbits leave it alone. So the rabbits usually like what the deer like. So the rabbits usually leave it alone. Um, the rabbits can still get through my electric fence. However. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little so. buggers. Yeah, I just saw we have a rabbit hole that's underneath the fence. So we know what you struggle with to grow. What is your favorite thing to grow and what grows best in your area? Um, what grows best? Well, a lot of things grow really well here. Like everything actually does grow well. It's just, you know, my not knowing, you know, the type of, the, you know, the best type of soil for your onions and right. your carrots. Um, I do love, to, I get, I love to grow squashes. It's, um, mm -hmm. and I think it's my um, big family mentality. You know, when you're bringing in, you know, a spaghetti squash that's this big, um, that's going to feed a lot of people, mm -hmm. right? Where it's like one tomato you know, doesn't feed a lot of people or one cu well, cucumber would, but I want to have something where it's going to feed a lot. Um, the thing I love to grow, I think the most is um, broccoli. And uh, the variety that I do is called gypsy. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I, I think it's because my family loves broccoli. So I will usually have in the bed, you know, uh, six to 10 broccoli plants. And I, and again, I love the fact that you go, I get my big head at the, at the start and then the side shoots. And so we're eating from that, you know, and they all love broccoli. So it's like bringing right. in more broccoli. So I think that's um, anything, anything that allows me to feed a large crew. That's mm -hmm. what I like to grow. And it's, I think it's just my mentality as, you know, uh, a, a mom of a big family. Like, you know, I know there was, again, back in the 2020 thing, um, you know, people would were stocking up in their grocery carts, you know, and then people were judging them and you're hearing all this. And it's like, I'm, I'm there and you go, this is my normal shop. Like I've mm -hmm. always been a bulk shopper. I've always been a, yeah. because I have a big mentality, big family mentality yeah. that I'm providing totally. for a lot of people. You know, so. Mm -hmm. Right. I get it. <laughs> We've yeah. been there too. So um, w where do you get your knowledge of growing? What are your research, your your favorite channels or what do you like to watch? Um, or yeah, I, 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 it's all of you. you all of you guys. <laughs> you guys are my YouTube university. Like that's where I go. Mm -hmm. um, to start, uh, like I said, my friend Sustainable Stace. Um, I really enjoyed watching his videos. Um, they were super informative. He owns a, a, co a coffee um, a coffee company uh, where they roast, a coffee roaster company mm -hmm. called Level Ground Coffee Company. And it's mm -hmm. uh, sustainable. And um, and I think that, that where they get their beans and stuff like that, like it's, it's super ethical. And... Um, and that's where actually I get my coffee sacks through his company. So I would watch him. And then, of course, um, Justin Rhodes. Uh, mm -hmm. I got into that beautiful vortex of him and his family. And um, and then, of course, uh, Jess from Roots and Refuge and Epic Gardening with Kevin. I love Kevin Despair, too. Where mm -hmm. he, gives you, he gives you... Uh, um, points for, for growing and, and, and cultivating your green thumb, you know, all those kinds yeah. of things. So yeah. Those were, were the ones that I would watch, um, you know, religiously kind of whenever they would have something I would watch, not again, not, and not understanding the whole purpose and uh, the back end of YouTube that, you know, when I'm there, you know, make a comment, like the video, because that is actually helping their channel right. grow. Right. Not just, yeah, my me watching is helping them, but all these other little steps. I wasn't aware of those things until I became a content creator. But I think those were, that's where I, I started was, mm -hmm. was with those. And, um, and of course, once you start with one, you know, then there would be the little rabbit trail for other yeah. uh, con can content creators that you just like, oh, I really like that. And um, 
you know, I think my for for baking bread, um, Joshua Weisman is is the one that I learned how to make sourdough bread with. Uh, mm -hmm. He was my he's my um, my mentor for that. Right, go to. So, what would you say your style of gardening is? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've I've Can seen what you the style it's that not, I want. It's kind of like go. Oh, it's it's like. Eden, the Eden method. Yeah. I think. yeah. So I yeah. actually I use I you know I do use all sorts of methods. So I, yes, I do mm -hmm. back to Eden gardening. Mm -hmm. I watch that um, whole a whole series. Missed the one point, which you know, um, sadly, it's it's not how it doesn't get presented that way. And it was someone else's video that I watched was, you know. You know, he goes, put all your, put these wood chips out, but you actually, what he doesn't, he doesn't put out fresh wood chips. He puts out composted wood chips. Mm -hmm. So people were throwing out the wood chip, throwing wood chips down everywhere. And of course their things weren't growing like his. And right. then um, I also use the Ruth Stout method. So a lot of straw or hay, I don't mind either one. Um, it is, uh, it's getting more expensive to get, you know, I was blessed last year with a woman who her horse didn't like whatever hay she bought. So she said, do you want these bales? And it was like, mm -hmm. yes, thank you. And, uh, and then another one, another um, uh, major gardening um, vegetable uh, garden here. Uh, I, I, the other distributor, distributor, I think they're called Longview or something like that they were selling their bales for like two, $3. And it was, it was like, yeah, I'll grab a bunch of those because I, I actually like to grow in straw bales. So I do the back to Eden method. I also mm -hmm. do the root stout where I'm putting like over my potatoes, mm -hmm. that's straw. And then I was actually doing straw bale gardening as okay. well. Mm -hmm. yeah. All like it was like all of them and using like organic um, kind of methods of, you know, my fertilizer is compost is compost tea that I make or poopoo -poo juice as I like to mm -hmm. call it. And I also, um, one of our, one of our companies, our, our mercantile stores here, they make a really good long, um, slow release organic fertilizer. So I, mm -hmm. I also use that. Okay. Um, so yeah, just, you know, similar to many people, but I, I incorporate all the methods like into one. I don't just do Ruth Stout and I don't just do back to Eden. So when you grow in your straw barrel, uh, Bales. Bales. <laughs> Bales. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you charge them and do all that fun stuff? No. Um, well, sort of. Uh, because again, it, this is a, I do live in a rainy climate. So typically with my straw bales, I would go buy them in um, November mm -hmm. and I'd put, just put them out where they need to be. And they're already beginning to get charged just by the rains coming okay. in, the warmer weather. And then just, you know, maybe a month before I will go and just pour some poo poo juice on them mm -hmm. and uh give them that extra bit and um and then when i do plant in them i typically would put like you know two handfuls of soil in along with one to two cups like if i was doing squashes i would do two cups of my organic fertilizer right into the the hole and um and i just had you know tremendous success but uh success with i typically grow all my squashes in it Mm -hmm. But I wasn't interested in paying twenty dollars a straw bale this year. Ooh, yeah. so, so is that I, because somebody in the side chat was saying you know about being careful with the um, amino pyrrolids or grazon? Is it because they practice that it's pretty much organic hay that you're dealing with? Oh yeah, no, I I never I never looked into I I didn't look into what if they're um, spraying. It's basically no. Somebody. no. I was just, I would just, whatever I could get the cheapest, that's Oh, what wow. Get. But your farm, though, is pretty much spray-free where you get your soil. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. that's why. There, you, but it. you still, you still, you know, can, like I bought, um, like I used to buy my soil from the big, the big. Yeah, bulk, it's still in the big store. box stores. And, yeah. you know, because it was, and again, I was looking at pricing, right? You know, it's $11 mm -hmm. for this huge big bale and that killed everything all my all my seedlings that year um and and it is an organic soil but um as 
and that same year, it was like I was, uh, Jess was dealing with it from Roots and Refuge. Mm -hmm. And um, man, I can't think of her name. She's also, I think, in Oregon. Um, uh, no, not homesteading family, but uh, anyway, I just can't think of what her name is. She was having the same exact same thing, and uh, and what they're it's it's whatever sprayed on the hay. Of course, the mm -hmm. cows are eating it, and then they're taking that their the manure, manure and mixing mm -hmm. it, and then bang, you know, it uh, is contaminating this uh, organic soil. Um, you know, I think you know, in my opinion, like it's like yeah, you know, we do what we can to keep things as organic or know what you're buying but yes. um but at the same time it's i think it's not always that you're going to be able to yeah well yeah i got in my mushroom compost and you know not thinking like the substrate and them using manure mm -hmm. that it could do that and sure enough it, thankfully i only used it in pots and that's why i switched over i kill. was i was really struggling and i really wanted organic chicken food mm -hmm. too as well Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Most of them do Billy because it's such a problem. Yeah. So much easier for them to do that. So what are your fruits that you're growing? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm, uh, I've got too many grapes on one trellis. Uh, and that's again, by not knowing that you only need one grape plant. Morning uh, bud files. Sorry. No bud problem. files just came in. Hi, bud. Um, yeah. And uh, I have Hascap. Um, berries, which are, uh, they're in that, they're in the blueberry family, I, I believe, but they are, um, have higher in antioxidants and they mm -hmm. grow better in cooler climates. Like they were, they were made, I think, um, or not made, or well, these ones came from Saskatchewan. So they are designed to handle actually colder than my climate. Nice. Mm -hmm. um, I think there is about, um, five three, three, four, five, six apple apples. I got a pear tree that was here from uh, when I bought the house. Um, nice. nice. The other thing nice. is the elderberries. I'm getting into that where I'm propagating nice. and growing. It's like uh, the elderberry syrup that Marissa made at Christmas time was just off the, off the charts healthy where, um, you know, I would, put some of the concentrate into a water bottle, add the water. And I was coming down with something while I was performing. And I would like, just as I would drink it, I, I could actually feel relief in, you know, my throat chest area. It was like, uh -huh. as soon as you drink it, it's like, why is that feeling better? So I went, okay, we are propagating more elderberries. We are going to have, you know, we're going to, my, my, I, what I call like, you know, it's like a, I don't know, about a four foot by, um, eight foot space, and I call that my orchard, <laughs> and they're all in yeah. pots. <laughs> That's yeah. my little orchard. Um, lemon trees. Oh, I like the way you level yours too. You have that planter where it's like steps. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love that. I would love to do some of that in my own garden because it gives yeah. you so much more space in a small it area. Does. Yeah, it does. And we built that just because we're in front of it, the lawn would never grow. And it was like, mm -hmm. so let's make it your garden. But the cool thing is what I have discovered over the last two years with the tiered bed. <laughs> Not that type, Brampton Gardener. Not that type. <laughs> with the three tiered, um, the top tier is where I put my uh, indeterminate tomatoes. The next one down, I put determinate tomatoes. And so those ones bush out beautifully. And I plant at least, you know, 10 to 15 romaine lettuce in between, mm -hmm. like on the top tier. And it can be in the, the ding ding hot of June and July. And the romaine lettuce is so well protected and I've still got fresh romaine, you know? And so nice. it's like, yeah. So that is one thing where it was like, that is like where you do it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I've got, I do have, I've propagated a plum tree, um, I did go and buy some thornless blackberries. And so I do have those uh, peach and yeah, peach and plum. I had one of those fruit salad trees, but the only thing that survived on it was the plum. So, oh, so it's a plum okay. tree now. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. So what is your growing zone? Nine B. Oh, 
Mm-hmm. So you're you're warmer than than uh, your winter is warmer than us. Then yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're they you know they call us the we're the Hawaii of Canada, and mm-hmm. I think it's like you know there is like I've got a japonica, um, and you do see different palms, palm trees, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, our winters are super super mild. Um, you know we have the last couple of years. Yes, it's gotten a little colder, but you know I'm sure the temperatures get lots of extra help right by what uh what flies through the sky it's like oh as soon as i see them I yeah go, oh okay get prepared because the next couple of days we're gonna have you know rain or we're gonna have this but but yeah no we we have um we might get if we get a week of snow that's that's kind of a that's an extreme to have a yeah. whole week it's like if it snows in the morning by the uh by lunchtime it's all gone that's know. that's usually here too mm-hmm. um i liked your grapes by the way <laughs> mm. uh, thank you yeah we, uh, we still haven't processed them or it was like should we try to make you know we could make a little bit of wine but i think we're actually going to just process them and actually make a great grape mm-hmm. juice concentrate mm-hmm. um again that self-sufficiency of um good yeah. nu- nutrients, good, nu- you know, okay. something that is good that we can add into things, you know, cause it's like, you know, how much grape jelly could we actually eat? Right. Mm-hmm. right. So what kind of pests do you deal with in your gardens there? Mm. Thanks for, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> yeah. Um, Carol. Okay. <laughs> I know Carol uh, drives you nuts, but <laughs> Your past Carol. Go ahead. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, no, I think um, in all honesty, I think Carol is is uh, is a a mirror, a white woman mirror image of me is what Carol is. Yay! <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> Definitely more ambitious than me when it comes to the garden, though. It's amazing. Yeah. Well, again, <gasps> you know. It, what, I don't think what, my garden has ever seen what yours did last year. It that's was right. Like, well, it's, there's a lot of smoke and mirrors. There's a lot of smoke <laughs> and mirrors. Okay. You know? And, uh, but, but it's like, okay, there is the, what, what did you do? But it's like, but what did my heart want to do? No, I didn't want to do that. But it was, that, yeah. you know, the driving, you just drive. But would I prefer to go, uh, what, you know, yes. Why are you late with your, your seeds usually you start in January morning. Usually you're smacking your hands because you start in January and it's like uh-huh. it's um middle of March and mm-hmm. I've been trays- prime twice growing yeah. season. <laughs> 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 year, like, oh, oh, what do you mean? It's like I gotta just do hot stuff now. What? <laughs> yeah. Um, now I forget what your little question was there for me. Uh, anyway. bugs, pe- oh, pests bugs, the past. Bugs. Um, what kind of pests do I, I think, um, mostly the aphids, um, mm-hmm. I haven't, uh, rats. Oh, <laughs> the rat, mine the rats are the thing that, uh, the one year, um, because I did have my own little, um, epidemic in my yard because they were living in the attic of my studio which I go I don't know how because it's so hot up there um but uh for the most part I haven't dealt with a lot of um a lot of anything that Mm -hmm. you know like I I've never seen a tomato hornworm um I've never seen anything wipe out or that I had to battle uh Mm -hmm. the gnats inside my studio like the soil gnats you know that And that, it, too. yeah, and it's like, and it's a fight because you go, I just want these seedlings and you guys are just killing everything. And mm-hmm. so that's, um, but outdoors, I don't know if it's uh, because we're quite windy or the salt in the air because we're an island, you know, that mm-hmm. I don't, I don't seem to deal with, with uh, pests that I've ever noticed per se. Right. I, I like, so there could be qu- quite the balance. Mm-hmm. But mind you, I, I grew um, uh, yeah nasturtiums this year or last oh, year so for the first time, yeah. and I was surprised at just how many 
aphids were all over the nasturtiums. Like they go, these are not edible now, you know, when they yeah. first were growing, but yeah. as they, as they continued, it was like the plant would just be covered um, in the aphids and stuff. So it's like, okay, maybe I have an aphid problem here. So you don't so, have any trouble with slugs or anything like that? Oh yeah. Slugs. Yeah, we do. Of course. Yeah. But um, not um, not so much in my pots, which is great because again, I grow a lot of my lettuces in there. So, um, but they're not. Uh, yeah, I'll have them eat. You know, I think there was one spaghetti squash that I had grown out there uh, in the back, mm -hmm. um, and it looked fine. But then when you turn it over, it was it was hollowed out, like it was mm -hmm. just, it was growing a shell. That's lovely. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So yeah, so. Um, uh, but I just, you go, I'm not growing, I won't grow uh, squashes out in the back. They, they don't, they don't grow well anyway out there. So yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they, and slugs don't go after my broccoli and you know, those kinds of the brassicas, they just don't, they leave them alone. Oh, you're um, so lucky. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> that's that little bit of, well, you know, you get cold too. So like I don't get cold and they, I just have, you know, a proliferation of bugs that never die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have, we but have at least we have the lizards. Like we have plenty of lizards that'll eat them. Thank God. If we didn't have any lizards in this state, I, I think Florida would be covered and you would never see people. We'd just be all covered in bugs. Right. <laughs> So what is your favorite uh, way of preserving your food? Uh, canning, pressure canning. Pressure yeah. canning. Yeah. I, and I'm, what, is, I'm, what is your favorite thing to can? Um, well, I love canned, canned peaches. I, I've never grown enough mm. peaches to, uh, um, to can my own. Um, we just eat them, but uh, we'll get them from the Okanagan, um, you know, when we do peaches, but I think my, it, it well, to me, it's kind of weird, but it's like, I love canning um, apple pie filling. Oh, what? That's I, like do, cats, I do too. I do it's too. The cats, like you just go, I don't know why. I, I guess it's because you go, it's the cat's meow. Cause you go mm -hmm. right now there are, you know, 20 uh, quart jars of either apple pie filling or rhubarb pie filling. There's a and, reason why there's four apple trees in my yard. <laughs> yeah. And the, yeah. the year that we started with the apples, we actually, we were given the opportunity to go pick. So they were all free apples. Mm -hmm. And, nice. you know, yeah, you're doing all your processing at the beginning. But now you go, I got 20, 20 jars of apple pie filling. And it takes me nothing to whip up a pie crust, throw open the jar, ding, ding. And then. And yeah. you go like, so it's like, it's, it's because you can whip up an apple pie, it, you yeah. know, and, and it just is so delicious. And, or you go, let's just warm that apple pie filling up and put ice cream on it and we'll eat it that way. <laughs> oh yeah. my That's gosh. Way. Yeah. Kill yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, and me. So, uh -huh. What so is the favorite thing your family likes that you can? What's the favorite thing that they like? Um, oh, tikka masala. That, and that's new to us. And like, mm -hmm. the, you know, the 16 jars and then there was a bit left over that we did. The, they were just pints. Um, I think there might be one left, you know, mm. and we just did that. Fortunately, there is. I thought that that I had all the tomatoes from last year because um, they were all in the my upper free, freezer. Mm -hmm but didn't realize that, no, there was another four giant bags in the big deep freeze. So um, we've already said we're making more tikka masala because it was just, it's off the charts. So good. And we actually mm -hmm. took it to our little staycation and um, as part of one of our supper meals and, you know. So um, I don't know what tikka masala is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Explain. Uh, so, yeah. So it's in, it's, um, it's Indian uh, an Indian sauce. So it's, it's like, like your butter chicken. Um, okay. And yeah, so it just, it's just got that, you know, cumin and, and uh, coriander and those types of spices in it. So mm -hmm. it's a, it's a, an Indian sauce. It's just absolutely, it was absolutely off the charts. Good. Like just. And do you have a video on that one? <laughs> yes. And I'm trying to find it as you guys are speaking. And I, YouTube has changed again with the way that they 
organized stuff. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah. I think it would have been just in, um, we might've made it in Jan. We might've made it in January or February uh, okay. where we, we sat down and, and uh, canned, Got it. canned up. And okay. yeah, it was like, you know, it was, uh, I just looked or no, I, did I look it up or did my daughter look it up? Yeah. This recipe. And so we were just like, you know, uh, you and mm -hmm. made it up and, and like, I'll buy tikka masala jarred sauce and stuff like that. And it's, it's good and, you know, delicious. But when we, when we cooked it and we also added in some of our own extra spices, we didn't just go with, um, exactly. We went, eh, let's throw a little bit of this in and a little bit of that, which we wrote down. Mm -hmm. And, um, but when we went to eat it, like, you know, it smelled really good, but when we went to eat it, it there was that, um, it, it was just shocking on how good it tasted. Mm -hmm. And I hey, think man. like uh, I, um, I have Indian neighbors next door and uh, Baljeet, when she's, she'll do a lot of her cooking outside and, and I've made a habit of going over to the fence and going, oh, what are you making? It smells so good. And she'll go, oh, would you like to try some? And it's like, Mm -hmm. uh, she goes, is it bothering you? N no, no, but uh, yeah, I'll have some. And, you know, her cooking is so incredible that it's, it's, it's where you actually taste the layers of when, of the food that she cooks. It's like you, mm -hmm. you first get the first taste of, of some sort of curry and then, um, and then a different spice and a different spice. And, and that's what this tikka masala did. It was like, there was, it was so complex and delicious like it was mm -hmm. just um yeah it was like complex flavors and so yeah we're gonna we have to we have to make with the rest of the tomatoes we have to make more tikka masala awesome so, so bat loop has a question for you okay. uh do you, do you grow peppers uh i do grow peppers um successfully more hot peppers so i do um one that i think it's called a bird's eye chili um where the the peppers usually are uh, upright when they first start. I do cayenne. I do um, jalapeno. And then this past year, I did grow uh, for the first time um, the uh, Carolina Reaper. I haven't tried it yet. Um, uh, and also, I think I did a Tabasco. Um, it was called Tabasco. And and then I just I dry them and then I, I grind them up. So... Uh, sweet peppers. I'm not like, you know, I might get one that's, you know, you know, about, about yay big. Mm -hmm. And, um, but I think for here in this climate, cause I have had them where they were out in the sun, not super, super successful. Then I put them in the shade where there's still heat, but you know, and that wasn't successful. And I, another friend of mine, she had a beautiful pepper, um, another content creator, um, a simple, a simple season, Lisa. Mm -hmm. And she kept hers in her greenhouse. So I think my sweet peppers, I'm going to keep in my greenhouse studio and put them on the, in the window mm -hmm. and let them grow. I think they need uh, more uh, heat mm. because the studio stays pretty warm. So, oh, you had a, you had a reaper as well. I think my reaper is still alive. Um, I brought them, you know, cause I, I do most of my peppers I'll do, um, in pots so that I can just bring them in, in the winter. So many of them die, even though they're in the studio and it's warm. Um, but I think I have, um, maybe I do have one sweet pepper that survived, but it's like, it's covered in gnats. I, I have to actually go out there and wash the leaves off. And, um, Shani has a question for you. Mm. Uh, just click on it and I'll, yeah. And okay. be the, yeah. Since the sauce was so successful, do you have any ideas of a new thing that you want to can this harvest time? Absolutely mm -hmm. not. No. <laughs> no. No new things. No, let's stick with the standard and just yeah. do more. <laughs> you know, um, we when we run out of ketchup, we'll probably do ketchup. And same yeah. with, the, with tomato sauce. Uh, we don't eat a lot of tomato products um, mm -hmm. or, uh, or to, just fresh tomatoes just because they are... Uh, nightshades and super inflammatory. So that's mm -hmm. not something, even though, you know, we ate yeah. all, well, mind you, we gave some of the tikka masala away too, as gifts to people. Like, you know, mm -hmm. if they come to the house, it's like, oh, here, thank you for coming. Please take home some tikka masala. Yeah. 
Um, so I, I think the only thing I would, would want to try is another, um, some sort of other curry sauce mm -hmm. just because, um, we don't eat a lot of spaghetti because we don't do a lot of pasta. Thank you. Um, so there's no point in making a spaghetti sauce and we can just use a tomato sauce and, and zhuzh it up to make a spaghetti sauce. Right. And some of those spices help with inflammation. If mm -hmm. we have an issue with that. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So, yeah, yeah it's all the, I have the same issue with the tomatoes, potatoes, peppers, all the nightshades. Mm -hmm. I have yeah. to be careful. And of course, peppers grow great here. <laughs> yeah. They grow great here too. Yeah. Um, so, your method is you you let your your um, your wood chips kind of you know break down. Mm -hmm. You add them to your garden, mm -hmm. and where do you go from that? You just add, you just add them to your garden. Are you mixing them with uh, no. anything else? Um, no, just keep manure? adding them. No, okay. just keep adding them. And the you know where I have shrubbery. Uh, those those take a little longer to break down mm -hmm. and this year we are we have put down new coffee sacks um mm -hmm. and then the wood chips on top and those ones take a little bit longer on just the regular garden beds right. um but the just the soil that i'm seeing that's come up of it mm -hmm. is just um amazing my pear tree uh, i'm allergic to pears so it's not something i would eat and when i first bought the house it was they were all gnarly. They wouldn't get, you know, sometimes there'd be the odd one that would get, you know, you know, maybe about yay big. And, um, and my drummer, he would just come and pick them all and he would make pear cider mm -hmm. with them. And then last year he quit drinking. And so then I was left with the pears, but the, I, and I, you know, the pears were absolutely incredible. Like I was getting, you know, they were getting to be like full size. Right. And and no um, mar marring on them and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. I think that is just strictly because we've been putting wood chips down for the last um, three years and all that breakdown. So the you know the nutrients are actually um, feeding that pear tree mm -hmm. what it needs. Mm -hmm. So what do you where do you get your wood chips? Um, just from a, a tree service. Um, we found a, we found a new tree service just recently that, um, you know, they come pretty quick and dump them. And that, that's the only thing is like, it's a commitment when, mm -hmm. you know, when you're getting a truckload of wood chips. Especially um, in suburbia. <laughs> I've, done, I've done it. So I know. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, uh, can you drop them up on the top part of my driveway so that I can. Um, yes. Move them slowly. But yes. usually there is, usually it's, um, we have a work bee. So all my kids come home and everybody, you know, we move things. But um, but my people are leaving and um, I'm getting, I'm having less and You're less. You're losing your staff. That's I'm losing my staff, my, my, <laughs> my unpaid staff. Like, how, many, staff. how many children do you have? I have five. Okay. Yeah, and the youngest is 29, and the oldest is uh, in her mid 30s. Uh, I had them close together, uh, mm -hmm. and um, but yeah, but the it's like the baby, you know, who's six foot three. He says he's only six foot two, but I go, no, you're six foot three. Um, <laughs> and he's moving to the mainland at the end mm. of this month, and it's like, okay, uh, when uh, when can I get have you help? Because he is. <laughs> He is a beast. He doesn't like to do labor work, but what he can turn over, what, you know, for me, a patch that I have to turn over, I have to deal with, um, could take me two weeks. He can do in a, in about two hours. He's just, I have yeah. some of my children are freakishly strong. Like I thought that, you know, you just think, oh yeah, they're strong, but I'll go to pick up something and it's like, I can't move it. And then they come and move it as if it was like, they're just like, what, what, the, what do you mean? It's hard to lift. So I have a couple of them that are freakishly strong and um, you know, they're all yeah. strong, but you know, that the baby is kind of, he's one of those, like you're a force of nature. You're a giant, mm -hmm. giant baby and you move things and I need you to move my wood chips. So, so I've avoided getting wood chips just because it's like it, that commitment. Yeah. I, but yeah, I know I need a little them. bit about giants. Um, <laughs> 
my my husband's six ten, so yeah, yeah. It's like you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. So that's all you're doing is just wood chips. Are you using? Um, do you collect your chicken manure? Your anything else to to make compost tea or? Are, are you composting besides? Yes. Doing so in my yard, um, I have uh, five pallet sized uh, compost bins. And then I have just the standard, like, you know, the city gives it to you. It's kind of like the tower and I have a rolling one. Mm -hmm. um, so, so the, any of the pallet ones, those are the ones that I'll put in just the green waste from the yard. Mm -hmm. And three of those, three of those um, compost pallet bins are in what I call the playground of my chicken run. Mm -hmm. And they, um, and so the chickens are breaking that down. And then we wood chip that playground for the chickens and you know, within the year, it, it breaks it down enough that I just go and um, it's composted and broken down. There's enough time. I'll just actually go and pull it right from the chicken yard. So mm -hmm. either the compost bins back there or the chicken yard, um, letting it compost down so that I can put it directly onto the gardens. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. So you're not using anything other than a little bit of stuff that you bought at the store as far as organic so basically you're organic. You don't know where your wood chips come from exactly, but, or if they've yeah. been sprayed, but so mm -hmm. that's, that's a challenge. Um, but, yeah. but nobody's really organic in this day and age, unless they're, no, no, it's, unless it's, they're certified. Like that's people even putting that you can use organic methods, but okay. Right. My mic is broken. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, yeah, it's right. like, whoa, 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 whoa. And, there's, and there's nothing wrong with not being 100% organic. Organic. You do your, be right back. You do like, your best. Right. To be right. organic, right? I and, mean, um, I, I can't get wood chips delivered out here where I am. They just mm -hmm. don't do it. It's too far away from our way. Yeah. Um, but I can break down. We have my brother in law has a wood chipper lives next right. door, and so I can get organic wood chips and I can trust where they come from. And mm -hmm. so is that ever a worry of yours that you, you know, you're getting these wood chips and you don't know. Where mm -mm. They come no, I would, um, I would say, no, I don't worry about my wood chips. Um, partly because on the Island here, um, they're the, progressive woke people if yeah. I can say it that way mm -hmm. so like you know we're avid on the recycling like on your you know your recycling and all that um uh not that people are trying to do organic but it's like we're we're high population of of your vegans and all yeah. of those types of people like exactly it is where that. I came from yeah I get it yes <laughs> So yeah, so it's it's a group of you know we're 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 a little bit snobbish on mm -hmm. on how now of course there are some people who are out there you know like I won't even put out rat poisoning for the rats oh. in my yard because yeah. um, that rat dying from that poison the owl comes and eats it well that's going to affect um, that owl you know. Mm -hmm. um, so I do know that there are people that do those kinds of things, but it's like you know. Um, but yeah, I try to do as much, um, I don't do the research of going, okay, even, even the great soil that I, I, I get, like it is, it's a, um, a, it's a dairy farm and all the, all the wood or, um, not the wood, but all the green waste that comes is green waste from the Island here. Mm -hmm. And so people like I can, I can fill up my truck and I can go just drop it off there for free. And then yeah. they are mixing it and they mm -hmm. are certified organic. Like they just got their certification. certification. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but at the same time you go, but you, I'm seeing, you know, there's your cows and there's the fields. 
what is the farmer next door spraying? Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, what is, you know, it's like, sure, you're certified, but, right. you know, I think it's, I think it, it's, it's a hard thing unless you know every right. single it's farm like, around. Like here, I know that we don't put chemicals on our property. Yeah. Um, but in the entrance of our property where our power lines come in, they have spray. Mm -hmm. underneath. Yeah. yeah. I was not so happy about that. Yeah. No, um, because it, it travels. Yeah. yeah. It, it, it travels it and affects the bee population. Yeah. In Absolutely. A great way. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, so my, I had to my, tell my husband not to use broadcast spreader on the lawn out back. That's why I cannot use the lawn in my compost because it's not organic for that he uses because mm -hmm. he's in the industry. I'm his balance in, you know, mm -hmm. the cosmos yeah. of organic and organic. Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, you know, it, it's my, my sister is a, is a, a big, um, Roundup user and like, and she just wow. moved to this property. And I said to her, I said, you know, you can't be using that. Yeah. And she's like, well, no, no. It's like, cause, because in her mind, she thinks it's in my yard. I said, no, 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 no. It yeah. travels Tells all the bees. miles away, yeah. just even, even underground. And it's like, everything is connected. Yeah. And everything in your yeah. underground as well. Not just what's coming up above. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's all connected and you're in, and she's like, oh my gosh, I didn't know. And I said, yeah. yeah. So yeah, here on like, the water table, his business that he works for, they don't even use Roundup. Yeah. They don't use it. So I was happy to hear that because that means yeah. he hasn't been exposed for years and years. But yeah, it does. It travels through the air and, and, and through the soil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So so it's, you know, you know, you live in a in an area where you do have more control by, you know, what's going on in your, you know, your neighbor, your your neighborhood, because there's so much distance. We but have it's like, agricultural around us though, and I know that they don't. Mm -hmm. um, they well they don't they do they do spray and so mm -hmm. you know and it's nice and windy here and so yeah um, yeah. yeah brenda talked about that over at, okay easy over at 1900 homestead that they actually flew over her and sprayed her too like oh. her property and she holds up signs has signs posted and everything like this is private property and she got hit one day when she was out there, like, get the, get the, well, mm -hmm. they did it. It's exactly like, Trish. Yeah, like I was just going to say exactly Trish. That That's the same thing. You know, it's. Yes, exactly. Yeah. We do, we do our best, but also what I love about God and his creation of us as people yeah. that we are fearfully and wonderfully made and our bodies are designed to adapt and to yeah attempt to heal themselves. So mm -hmm. as things come in, you know, um, not every, we don't always heal ourselves. Yes, people die, but it's like, there is those aspects of us that when we are still trying to feed and put that um, nutritious, nutritious things that we've grown in, yeah, you might have something, okay, that wasn't so great, but it's like your body will try to keep things in check. So the mm -hmm. more good we're putting in, helps to keep those balances in check. That's kind of how I, I feel about it. Cause yeah, it's like, I'm drinking, you know, this is semi-filtered water, um, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. not that we, like we are, we, we have water catchment here on the Island. Like when I lived up uh, on the mainland, like uh, up North, you know, all the water flowed down through the Fraser river. Um, mm -hmm. So until it, once it gets down to Vancouver, like it's been so processed, 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 like they have the softest water mm. all around where up, you know, where I lived, the water was harder mm -hmm. um, because it hasn't gone through so many towns yet because you're all drinking the same poopy water, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's all coming down the, the, yeah. the pike here. Exactly. Um, so ours is in a catchment, but they still put it through whatever and, you know, whatever they've, they're, they're adding to it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so it's like, it's it's tough to get away from uh, yeah. everything. We do our best. So yeah. I do my best. You, you almost have to be, I mean, we have well water, which is shared with other well water and what's running off into that well water, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, 
it is what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, Oh, Anne was saying, so yeah, I, I'm missing the conversation. So, so oh, yeah. it could be the new soil I bought also, you, you know, and it's like, um, yeah, your, your best thing to do is just to maybe, um, put out some new seeds into it. Cause, uh, it, for me, well, when, she said to her son, her, she, her son is filtered. She's not probably getting enough sun on her seedlings right now. Like uh, she doesn't have any close up sun to start them off. And right. Billy told her, like, it could be either or. I would fix your sunlight first because that's the easiest fix. And then if yeah. you're still not. But make sure you're watering, too. You put them in direct turkey sun. I can't imagine how they'll dry <laughs> out in a pot. <laughs> <laughs> so thirsty. Yeah. yeah. Like mine mm -hmm. when I forget. Seedlings, seedlings usually need water every day. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. I'm trying to do the under under the tray watering. Uh -huh. That's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to do. Um, yeah, right. Because because mine just uh, I don't go and buy um, uh, seedling soil. I don't do. I just I don't either. It's like my mom never did. Yeah, you know, and that's even some of the practices that I'm I do. You know, like case in point with making sourdough bread when I first. I was like, everybody's making sourdough bread. It's the, you know, hip, chick, groovy thing to do. And I'd read and I'd go, I don't understand this. It's so complicated. And uh, mm -hmm. so then I hand it to Marissa and I go, here, you figure it out. Um, mm -hmm. cause, and she read through it and she goes, ah, cause it's like, well, the hydration is 80% and you want 20% of this and that. And it was like, ah, oh, it's complicated. Um, and I, you stop and you go, okay, so if I think about my great, great, great grandmother making sourdough bread, she wasn't weighing it out. She wasn't thinking of the hydration. She wasn't doing, it was all by feel, you know, mm -hmm. by however her mm -hmm. mama taught her. Yeah. And, and so it's like, okay, so sourdough bread cannot be that complicated. And, you know, of course watched, um, Joshua Weissman's it's, it's video. More, more about like, hmm, it smells this way. What do I need to do? Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we've lost that, those arts. And that's, again, sort of the, my mindset of, of how I want to work at living, you mm -hmm. know, um, it, it is a process when you go, yeah, I'm still buying, you know, um, Tide and still buying Downy. And it's like, we want to get to that place where we are yeah. using those things. And then, yep. um, Me too. you know, even um, with the future homestead that we want to have is that we're using we're keeping that gray water so you don't want those chemicals in but i want to use that gray water to water into my plants and things mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. yeah so yep. but um so yeah, what does so, the future homestead look like <laughs> oh, i don't wow, know but i think every day that i get older i think oh it's oh, I'm, gonna, me I'm, too. I'm gonna stay put where i'm at because this is just yep. easier yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd like to at least get to a place where I can have chickens where it's legal, like that fowl mm -hmm. is legal. Right now I'm in a city where you can't have fowl. I'm like, really? You had to include everything. The quails too. Quails are considered game birds down here. So no game birds either. Mm. But quail yeah. are so, I, um, they're so quiet. Yes, so. they are. But my husband so, won't let me have outlaw fowl and game birds. Darn it. Mm. I'm going to do it maybe for uh, a lesson for homeschooling, like I said, and find a farm that might like to, you know, adopt them or that I'm doing it for in case, mm -hmm. you know, somebody mm -hmm. comes by. I'll be like, oh, well, I'm just hatching them out for this farm and for a lesson for my son and my, mm -hmm. yeah, that's all. Mm -hmm. I can't, I can't it's help it that they cool. laid eggs and we're eating them now. <laughs> That's part of the lesson. Exactly. <laughs> this is where our food comes from. Yeah. This is where our food comes from today and and now today. So, yeah, uh, Brampton, uh, she says, I'm shocked how many people online and in common oh. sections are scared to handle raw meat. Like they cannot touch it at all. So paranoid. It shows how far removed we are from our food. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I'm just a major hand washer with it. That's all I am. Absol I don't absolutely. mind handling it. I'm just like. Always wash Absolutely. my hands. Well, of, go ahead. The process, the process of actually processing that, and the yeah. smell. The smell is 
something you have to get used to. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's yeah. probably what would get me is the smells. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So for, for a lot of people, that's, that's, but people are very detached from their food. Yeah. That they, that we don't know how, and that, that is kind of my, um, that was part of my secret mission with, for my, my uh, children, like for my adult children, it's like, I want you to know how to do these kinds of things. And, mm -hmm. if, you know, sort of thing. It's, uh, it's. So, uh, can you have chickens on your property? I know you do have chickens, but. I can. I'm okay. allowed, I'm allowed to have five. Can you have a rooster? No. But mind you, the people up the street that live in the $2 million homes, I only live in the $1 million homes. <laughs> yeah. None of it's worth that, but um, I think up there they do have a rooster. But as long as nobody complains, mm -hmm. I think like uh, and yeah. whether they've had it removed or not, but um, uh, they have one. But no, I can only have. You see, and those are those mm -hmm. are the reasons why you go. I want to have. I would like to have a farm, uh, my mm -hmm. own my own property, because then I can have the rooster. So then. Uh, I am, you know, instead of going and spending, <laughs> yes, only five. That's what I'm allowed. But nobody asks me how many I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how many do you have? <laughs> no, we don't want to say that live. Oh. Okay. So uh, um, outside, I have five. <laughs> there. And inside, I have zero. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And what kind of those the zeros? The zeros are Buff Orpingtons. Oh, okay, yeah. that's right. We talked about that. Yeah, yeah. they just they just they came on. They came on Saturday. Adorable. So, and it's just amazing how fast they grow. Like mm -hmm. just it's literally by the hour, you can just see those little pin feathers coming out, and it's like those weren't even out yet. Now you go. Now there's an inch long. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm. Nice. You have, know the cities. Yeah, I can't find ours. Aren't ours are zoning like zoning? Like mm -hmm. oh yeah, you have to have. It's called an A two zoning where it's agricultural residential. If you're you know have your house on the property, it has to have that that zoning. So it's harder. But then you know coming here, I never thought when we first bought this place, I just wanted to get up into Palm Beach County. So yeah. I wasn't thinking chickens back then right. or agriculture. Well, not a lot of us were. Uh, no, not in 2009. No, no. But I always did have that desire for like more of a country life. I have a mm -hmm. Pinterest board that it was started way back then that I mm -hmm. wanted that. Yeah. Oh, um, your yard doesn't fit the requirement. It has to be a certain size, Brampton. Right. Mm. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Bob is here. Bada bing. Okay, so our hour is up, so I'm going to kind of mm. switch it over. And now it's just time for fun. I've learned a lot of great things from you. Oh, thank you for uh, having me. I appreciate this. Yeah. Yeah, and I did so drop your link in the side chat while I was here for the tiki, tiki masala, okay. tika, right. tiki. Okay, you. thank I you. I think I called it tiki like we're, you know, I don't know. It's in the side link and it is below, guys. Um, yeah. So um, so if we want to just have fun and chit chat about the world, or not the world. <laughs> <laughs> or not the world or what's coming up in our gardens. Yeah. <laughs> that might be safer. I'll put the, the link in the, the chat. Um, Brampton, you're welcome up if you want to come and, and talk to a fellow Canadian. Oh. <laughs> Bob, of well, course. she's actually, she's actually, she's actually, well, she's born in the States. I think she's American. Yep. So. Yeah. But she lives in Ontario. Yeah. Where I used to live. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you're the, you, you were Canadian born. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you're a Canadian born, was, but she, I think she was born in the States and then, but came yeah. up. Uh, and I was born in Burling, Burlington, Ontario. Ah, Brampton yeah. says, I'm all over the place. Yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> you are. But yeah. boy, oh boy, does she ever have like 
um, like I have complete garden envy, you know, starter garden envy of her stuff. And it's like, she's making me, you know, have that thing of where I should go and get soil blocks. I should go get so I need to go get all those soil blocks, all the soil blocks that she has. Cause look at how great her stuff looks. Like mm -hmm. she's got, um, basil that's you know this big right now mm. and my basil you know not until the good of summer will it get that big you know yeah. <laughs> and it's like I've got, what I've the got heck do you do yeah i got a basil bush out there but um it's it's on hiatus right now because it's not it's too it's not warm enough yet oh so. you oh yeah see i can't grow um i can't grow my basil year round yeah i can't either i can't so I don't know how Brampton's doing it or if she bought it. <laughs> no, no. She starts she starts from I, I, scratch. Yeah, okay. I can't do it either um, year round. It starts inch. to bolt. It'll do bolt. You, yeah. Do you uh, do you grow everything from seed? I know we're done, but <laughs> it's just, just um, still I do I do grow um mostly everything from seed. Um, I will grab a couple of starts um, mm -hmm. or a couple of plants, like like the the Carolina Reaper. I bought that as a little little plant mm -hmm. last year. Um, but I'm you know I'm doing this project uh, for my channel called Grow Your Own Food mm -hmm. to try to help people who are um, like me, where you go, I don't know, I can't, and so I am going to be growing in pots, and so I I I will do my own tomatoes. But I brought, I bought the broccoli, bought, bought broccoli, um, snow peas. Like I just went and bought a few things, and it's all going to be in pots, um, basically. So <laughs> I'm a mix of that too, and yeah. I for like uh, any kind of fruit tree, I have to buy it from outside of my property mm -hmm. unless i'm starting on seed the only one i have started on seed is the jackfruit and that's because it's such a short time between seed and right. fruit yeah. but yeah otherwise all my, all my fruit trees and all of that stuff you know i buy yeah um, or you're waiting forever like there's really yeah, very you're waiting few. too long yeah, yeah exactly. and you want to establish stuff so it's yeah 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 but i'm you know i'm i did you know i've started my own lemon trees and yeah they'll take some time before i get the lemons yeah um i do have an avocado which i'm so surprised and that was purely by accident yeah. i think i might have um there's nothing wrong with starting from seed i'm just saying i want fruit like i think it was broke was saying that like now like mm -hmm. i want my fruit now yeah exactly <laughs> eight years from now or exactly whatever. yeah so I'm willing to go go ahead with that um, to try, but I'm I'm like you guys too, where it's like, no, I'll go buy it. So uh, you can do tomatoes. You can do almost anything in a in a mm -hmm. gallon bag. Um, you know, small potatoes. Um, uh, I've done almost everything in in, in gallon bags. But um, I've yeah, grown more in the pools. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. So I think, I think you're good in five gallon bags. I, I would do potatoes and, um, probably tomatoes. I wouldn't do them in the one gallon, but, um, yeah, stuff like that. Like if you want to do loofah, something, anything that needs a larger root space, you want those bigger bags, but, um, but peppers and all of that stuff, one gallon's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. that's what I was wondering too about my little, but I thought, you know what, maybe I can put some marigolds in them, thinking of gear, the little stackers, now that it's hot. Mm -hmm. um, I can't really do too many herbs because they'll just bolt, which isn't necessarily bad. I'll get more seeds, but mm -hmm. they right. also might just fry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want to kill more stuff. I've killed so much. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, Billy. I would say the lettuce is also another. Yeah, really yeah. good one. It's past lettuce time here, or I would do that, Billy. I think that's a good idea. Yeah, I mean, we we can get lettuce if you get lettuce in now. You can do it, um, but anywhere beyond now, um, and then cover it up while it's cold. 
because that's that's the thing here is is it spring turns into summer like that mm. and then everything bolts right so keep it in the shade <laughs> i mean the nice thing about grow bags and and pots and stuff like that um you can definitely um move it into the shade you know move them um, around Mm -hmm. Yeah, here in Tennessee, they recommend like a 30% shade for everything. Um, so especially for those tomatoes and lettuces and, and stuff like that, or, or they'll just bolt. Mm -hmm. so. um, do, what, what, do you get into the three digits of, of your temperature in the heat of summer? Sometimes, yes. Okay. Or, well, uh, yes, I should say we get into it for longer than I realize because I only go out in the morning when that happens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. For, for probably 30 days, there's either it's really close to the three digits or yeah. it is. Three it's digits. the feels like three digits. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Instead um, of them telling us it is three digits, it's like, Oh, it's 99, but it feels like 105 outside. <laughs> okay. Well, Just say it's 105. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we we have the we have the humidity, like I'm sure Carol does, where you know, you uh, got, and you just sweat. You know, yeah, I, mm -hmm. I'm built on a swamp down here, so yes, we mm -hmm. definitely have mm -hmm. humidity. But uh, West Coast has it worse than East Coast in Florida. For yeah. anyone you know looking for property mm -hmm. down here, East Coast is cooler than the West Coast on the warm Gulf. So okay, yeah, definitely. But, and it's just a better state all around. Yeah, we're hopefully going to stay conservative. I don't know. It's always a vote away. You never know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I want to ask you about your memberships. Um, you know, you got your thing. So, um, because I'm, you know, that's my, the next tier for me to work toward, right. or the first tier for me to work towards. I, I don't have any members yet. And I'm not pushing my memberships. <laughs> okay. Cause I was yeah. going to say, cause like, you know, you know, it's like you have to, you don't have to, but it's like, here's a membership. And what do you give in? Uh, well, I, I usually on it, it, it tells you, you know, like you could do private pictures, private videos. And once I start getting members, I'll probably do that. I, I should probably put something out there if somebody becomes a member to do that. Um, but I mean, I would share a little, not private per se, yeah. but you know, like, like things that I wouldn't share about growing with everybody. Um, like I could put yeah. like in my private members, like the whole video of us dispatching. Exactly. Um, things, things like that, um, that wouldn't be put in general population. Yeah. So um, I don't know how you do that though with YouTube because YouTube in your membership area are they now blocking other people from are. seeing it because then you might still get hit. I don't know with the like that's why I think some uh creators went over to that one that starts with a P mm -hmm. to put that stuff on there because YouTube might the you know might still turn around and hit you. Right. I right. don't know. I'm not for sure about that. Just, I just know that non-members can see it after I, it's a membership only video sometimes. And I don't know if they change that. That's just like Facebook where you hide yourself. You can not be seen again, but YouTube, they can still see you, your page and come on your page and everything. Oh, hey, hey, there she is. <laughs> I know that's what she did to me. Boom. As soon as you're there. Whoop. I hey, sexy in. lady. Oh, hey. <laughs> I got to wait Welcome for you guys in. to adjust. Right. 32. Yeah. It's cold here too. Yeah. <laughs> um, he, uh, uh, Barry said that uh, he's got a few friends in the UK that show videos of members first and then two weeks release those videos to non-members. So that's. You, you can do that. Yeah. Um, you know, but it's but like I when, when you're in the mode stuff. of. Yeah. yeah. When you're in and the mode can, of like, I need as many people to watch my videos right now. Yeah. You know, yeah. Or, you know, um, um, I mean, yeah. 
I I plan to do like private member chats and stuff like that where we can yeah. maybe talk about some of the things that you can't um like you you would keep it exactly. within your members and it would be out there in public and you know mm -hmm. um exactly. you know stuff that you want okay, to keep so, I, so he's saying that they do have that you have to release it to non-members okay i wasn't sure mm -hmm. what the oh, dealio was. was with that yeah, yeah, but it's, uh, you know. Oh my gosh, well, Brampton's headless. Oh, there she is. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. Where, but I, where... I, would, I would send videos to, to members that, you know, like other ways that, yeah. you know, they want to yeah. know how to do something. Right. Honestly, I don't think any of my, like, none of my stuff's that exciting to, woo, members only. You get it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, or somebody else. Woo. I know. Like, yeah, like, and not I'm my husband would be a bit bit yeah. concerned if I had a members only area. <laughs> He'd be like, "Excuse me, <laughs> no." What? And also, you know, um, like even the four of us sitting here, we all have similar beliefs uh, of mm -hmm. what um, of how we view the world, but not yeah, right. everybody does. And so, even if it was exactly. a members only. You know, there would be some people in there that would go, yeah, I don't agree with you about that, Maureen. And I don't agree with that with you, Maureen. Well, that, see, that's okay. I yeah. mean, um, I think I think it's good to talk about different things. Yeah. Um, but it's I like think people truly, truly have to be open. Um, yes. I, I, I have a hard time with anybody who will say I am this and I'm, I'm truly open to discussing or I'm okay with your beliefs. Yeah. And I'm talking as a Christian, you know, because yeah. Yeah. nowadays it is so hard for a Christian to be a Christian. Um, you know, we're, we're apologizing. We're saying, um, I'm sorry, you know, um, well, like what you were saying before, you, you, you're not okay with people saying, oh, I'm all inclusive and I want, you know, everybody to get along, but then slamming Christians and right. basically hating them in the side chat and all that. Yeah. yeah. Or, or, just even or other, or other even. Or, yeah. Religions yeah. or just even, people. even the fact that like, um, you know, I, I, I just. <laughs> I find it crazy. <laughs> Laura, I find did it... you say what you said? <laughs> I, I, I have an I equal opportunity that. hater myself too, Brandon. Yes, yes. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank yes. you. Yes. Way yeah. to put it out there, girlfriend. Just, everyone like crap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Say what everybody else was thinking. <laughs> what yeah. What, what I not. don't understand. That's, that's my gift to the world. Yeah. 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 What I don't I understand say is like what other people think privately. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you do. That's what I said. That's what I said. My friend. Um, <clears throat> has said to me she mm -hmm. goes you always say i'm always thinking it but you know you're bold enough to that. say it yeah. But, yeah you know so up up here in canada you know your um your former uh guy it's amazing on how many people up here just hate him so mm -hmm. much and i'm like you're in canada oh why what violent. is your why? What is your issue? Oh, yeah. Did he? I'm sorry. Did he come in and violate your, you know, your mm. dogs, cats, brothers, sisters? No, he might be like, violating your prime minister. Is prime minister the right word for? Uh, yeah, we have a prime minister. Mm -hmm, yeah, they, and so and like to this day, <laughs> people are just always like, and you know, and you're like, I'm sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. He's not affecting me personally, mm -hmm. and nor is he affecting mm -hmm. any other Canadian personally yeah. so what and people yeah. are like oh yeah, yeah you know you're like oh i'm sorry you mean the other do? one 45 are you talking about 45 or are you talking about no brain cells upstairs the former one yeah not, yeah. not oh really. yeah oh yeah See, i think like they just they loathe loathe them TBS. passionately and you think yeah. that that would be one of those things where you go i don't <laughs> want people coming and chatting about that because it's like that has nothing to do with me yeah. about whether you like him or not but it's like i'm in canada yeah. Why are you people that obsessed? And and so when you get mm. people that are like that, yeah. that's what I wouldn't want to have in that whole private. Well, chat. any but, extremism and yeah, in the side chat on, is on really either difficult. side. Yeah, on yeah. either side. Exactly. It's, honestly, it's craziness. Yeah. Okay. Um, Rochelle, yeah. are do you do you have access to um 
to show us your basil or any of your incredible plants that you're forcing me to go and have to spend money to go get soil blockers. Um, yeah, I can go grab them. But can I show you something else first? Of course. You can show my, us anything. My most recent project. It's a double-sided um, table runner. <gasps> oh, Aww. super cool. Here's the fun oh, side. And then Beautiful. here's the... Everybody. Oh, I love oh, it. Oh, that's really pretty. Yeah, that's so, I like you can't that. really see the quilting too much. I, I, my thing doesn't like to zoom in on anything, but what? I was just super excited to find like this color that matched both sides. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is a housewarming gift for my daughter's me? friends that oh, moved sorry. away. No, oh, it's not me. No, okay. I'm sorry. You only spend fifty dollars to ship this to you, ma'am. <laughs> that's so crazy. If you guys it don't know, it would be cheaper for me to fly it out. Yeah, yes. in Canada, you're better keeping it on your body and go visiting yeah. the person than I'm shipping it. It's, right. it's, it's a shawl. Let it's me drive crazy. it over. I'm just wearing right. it. Exactly. it. It's a headscarf. Oh, Put it on an RC plane and just, you know, <laughs> oh, deliver it to her yourself. Yes. You've got a beautiful <laughs> babushka. <laughs> babushka. Oh. Oh, let's make some barogies. I was wrapped in some of my mom's old fabric, actually, on, I think it was Marine's chat, because it was St. Patrick's Day stuff once it turned, yeah. like, 1 a.m. It was right. like, okay. okay. I don't think, I can't bring the basil in. That okay. tray is really oh, you've gone out, you've taken really big. Right. I up potted them into the two inch blocks, right. and it's on okay. a giant. Okay, no, heavy. no, 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 but I can we can go. just go and look at your, your watch your videos and see how <laughs> just, giant your basil yeah. is. I saw this comment that says she needs to be spayed. I thought you meant me for a minute. Okay, anyways, hold on. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Very, so he is you're not wrong, you're not, yeah. wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness She's <laughs> the spaying might help the attitude is that it yeah yeah, yeah. Mm, then i might need spaying too because um, i wanted that, you know that shirt Stay my, my dogs were just neutered and they're still humping each other so oh <laughs> oh yeah the feely feelies don't go away for a while yeah yeah that was the same thing with our even our female dog mm -hmm. feely mm -hmm. feel and also they do it for dominance so they might just not it might be dominant right. they're trying to right. dominate. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Which sounds familiar. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're, and they're still, they're still trying to figure <laughs> that out. Oh gosh. <laughs> and even the dogs, poor girl. Oh, yeah. help her. Bless that little cat. <laughs> poor That's thing. funny. That is hilarious. Oh, poor thing. But yeah, she, <laughs> that's too funny. Hilarious. Yeah, I wasn't talking about 45 and uh, Sparkle Socks. I was talking about the other uh, residents. I, I really have no desire to talk about um, politics. No, yeah. no, no. no. I'm, um, I'm just meaning when you have people that are that extreme. are like that. that right. Kept, you know, and it's like, um, I'm not here to fight you about nothing. And, and nor am I. I'm not a, like, I have no idea what... Uh, about most things about politics. I don't watch the news. It's like, you know, whatever kind of comes across my desk, you're like, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that's what they're doing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go back to out to the garden. I do care about the politics that affect our like property, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. And like that they wanna they wanna uh, make us awesome, pay carbon credits for yes. Our cows pooping. That kind yes, of thing. yes. What do you got there? Where, where, I don't know. Brown? I just my husband's napping, and so I reached in and grabbed the closest tray I could find. So I think this is my cool flower tray. So these cool. plastic containers, I love them so much. They are the um, Ferrero Rocher. If you buy the big one, like at Costco. Uh -huh. It comes in this like plastic container and it has a lid. So there's two that are exactly the same and uh -huh. I can fit six soil blocks on six of the 20 blocks on wow. the trays and they're beautiful. They're nice and sturdy. They're clear so I can see the water. I love them. Mm -hmm. And I had to go over and let my neighbor's dog out the other day because they were out of town. Had a brand new full tray in the entryway. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> and I'm like looking at it and I'm like, Hmm. Should I mention like when you're done with that and then hurry up and eat those by the way. And when you're done with that, I'd like the tray, please. So, but then it's like, <laughs> I'm going to look did. like a snoop, but anyways. Okay. You, know what you, do? you say, Hey, 
you know, <laughs> I grew this on one of those things. Oh, would you like ours? <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, they're used to me putting out like, oh, anyone have any leftover, you know, trays or mm -hmm. bins or water bottles or whatever. They're used to yeah. the weird requests every gardening season. Yeah. Um, and I usually give gives me food. Oh, so okay. we're, we're good friends. Um, yeah. So first up here, I have the Cardoon. Mm. So these are cardoon and they are edible. There are some Chinese. Like a Chinese know, lettuce. But they get big. They get okay. like two, three feet tall. This wow. one lentils a lot too. They're like these big, cool. Um, I don't know how to, I could pop up a picture, but I don't know how to do that on someone else's live, but they're really cool. I ordered the seeds. Um, I've never grown them before. I never really seen them before, but I wanted to order tickled pink climbing petunia seeds and mm -hmm. TNT seeds here in Canada. Adam. So I was like, oh, well, what else can I, you know, add to the order? And so I added the cardoon and then two different kinds of amaranth. And then these beauties at the end that are tipping over because mm -hmm. I need to, I need to pot these up. Um, you just, you just these, look it up on wherever you're going to look it up and then you go to present and then you click on that thing present okay i have yeah. a picture yeah you go present share screen yeah and then you after you share screen can you i do on. it off of my what's on my desktop or no yes you go yeah, share yeah. screen and it'll bring up a list and you pick from that list it's usually okay. oh, it's the same as when you do it on okay yeah we'll present it um i know i have it handy because i just put it in my video that i just cool. did i thought i did okay i'm a liar <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll find it in a minute when I'm when I'm not holding this so often. When you're not holding, yeah. Can you yeah, eat yeah. cardoon raw? Is it a type of lettuce you can eat raw or just for stir I have no fry? Idea. Oh, okay. Sorry. We Too haven't many questions. That far yet. Sorry, I'm sorry. I know that's how we'll we figure think. that out when we that's harvest. How we are? It's like oh, <laughs> yeah. it's something new to grow, and it says we'll, it's edible. We'll figure that out when we harvest. Okay. Yeah. So we have the cardoon. Okay, I gotta spin back around here, and I can't see any comments right now. Sorry, people. Looks like you got some brassicas or. Yeah. So next up, I have my kohlrabi. Mm -hmm. So I have some purple kohlrabi here. Then I have my pak choy. This is my second round of pak choy. And then next to that, I have my Livingston daisies, which you probably can't see because they're kind of getting swamped out by the pak choy. Daisy, it's like a succulent. I want to say it's similar to like portulaca, um, mm -hmm. but it's a very weird plant, and it has like almost looks like glitter has been like on there oh. hopefully oh. it's still alive but it's kind of swamped so cardoon um, oh hang on a second cardoons um are they look just like artichokes and they yeah it's they're like this taste. big kind of like a it silvery looks greeny just, mm -hmm, looks like an artichoke can you pop it up pop it up uh, I will. you can do it you can do the homework you'll be my assistant and then okay, just <laughs> and then this here is the pink echinacea which i'm really excited that it Ooh. sprouted um i picked the library there was this really hot pink echinacea there blooming and i was like oh that is gorgeous and there was a dried out seed head and i prop harvested, listed harvested yep. it no it's not properly my tax dollars paid for that it's public that's property. true that's true and then here on the end this is the um mahogany splendor hibiscus which is only two weeks old and they out so quickly wow that I had to pot them up. So the other two, actually, the taller two are in my two inch soil blocks because I had two squares left. And then I had to put these ones into this tray because the other tray still needs to be really close to the lights because it's a lot smaller. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then coming around this side, absolutely nothing. Mattress. So you're you're feeding those when you get second leaves, right? Are you, is that what you're doing or what, what are you doing to make them pop? Up, so. I think I've, I think I've fertilized. Well, the thing is, is these are, um, this is potting mix, not yeah. seed starting mix. So it does have more nutrients in it. Yeah. That's um, what I did too. But yeah. then, yeah, yeah, every, I don't know when I think about it, I put in like a half dose fertilizer, not that yeah. often. Yeah. I'm just going to take so what, two uh, seconds. To... I got to ask all the, all the dirty questions. Mm -hmm. Start our <laughs> Sparkler alley, I'm nothing. My kale, red Russian kale. I'm going to take two seconds to just hate Brampton Gardener right now. Just two seconds of just That's hating you. Yeah, you for all her successful yeah. Take starts. all your time. Yeah. <laughs> take all the time you need. Wait, wait, come spring, like full kick in spring, and she's got all the flowers going. And then here like, I have mm -hmm. my. 
Oh, interesting. But are those just thistles? Are they edible? I wonder. This. Uh, um, yes. So yeah. Oh, hang on, Brampton. Sorry. Alyssa. Let me just. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Alyssa. Alyssa. So yeah, they look a lot like thistles. Oh yeah. Uh huh. You want to? Yeah. Uh, Laura, I don't do know you what you eat. Put it on the on a bigger screen so that we can see it a little bit bigger. Uh, or maybe I can. Let me see if I can you do just. That. You just get it so that we're blocked out. Layout, yeah. Oh yeah, except for it's like, well, I'm still not um it's because I've got all this other junk on the side. Yeah. So so, so yeah, so they look a lot like thistles. From TNT seeds. I don't know if it's let me look that up just to see like if it's a specific variety. Okay, let me just go back and have you ordered from another... TNT? Not me, no. They're in Manitoba. They had good prices and good shipping. It was only five something for Whatever. Uh, I'll just use the. Fair. I'll just do the images here and uh, view file. So yeah, you can see. Um, you know, it does look a lot just like a, a thistle. It doesn't it? I don't know if they get really tall though. Okay, none like of the one like the. I did not show anything about a thistle. <laughs> I mean, not thistle. I mean artichoke, which artichokes are like. Yeah. But it didn't just show like, any of the, I didn't see the flower part. It just showed the greenery. It just showed yeah. the plant. Like, um, it's called a Sina, Sinara cardoon is the variety. So it's kind of like, kind of like the this one that's. Like C-Y-N-A-R-A. Like this one here. I don't know if I'm going to get a bigger picture of it or not. Yeah, there we go. Well, this that looks in, terrifying. This is in the <laughs> <laughs> it looks kind of cool. What the heck am I going to do with that? Okay. Oh, you bought cardoons. You're going to grow cardoons. Yay. It is a close yeah. cousin of the artichoke. It is native to the well drained, sunny slopes of the southwestern Mediterranean. An absolute garden. Kids will have a hoot growing this monster. Who yeah. <laughs> um, cartoon stems can be used in soups and stews like celery. They're also delicious saute with garlic, olive oil, and sea salt. You can also lightly blanch the stems in boiling water in the refrigerate and eat them with ranch dressing or Dijon mustard. Oh. So it sounds maybe it's kind of like uh, rhubarb where oh. you just kind of stick with the stemmies. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. Um, but, since but they have the an artichoke like, like flavor. Yeah. This is nothing like about the thistly part. So yeah. I don't know. This if is about the stem is edible and the leaf too, or no? Just the stem. Everything keeps saying the stalk. Okay. It says it's grown. Is it's that where you're hiding your faces? Chris. Yeah, I'm totally smoking dope over here while I'm watching my son. <laughs> no, um, watching I'm the snorting. Just I'm watching snorting. the kiddo. <laughs> yeah. We're we're doing herbs. We're just doing, doing herbs. Drinking. Yeah. Doing herbs. <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking coffee. That's about it. And water. I'm not. So it does I, go. I it does go up to one point two meters. Right back, guys. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know where the heck I'm going to put this. I just the back of your fence. It doesn't. That part doesn't get a lot of sun. Sun. Oh, okay. Right. It might. It might end up going over at my neighbor's. Okay. Yeah, it does I, almost say everything it, it, I plan on growing, I think I'm just going to put it over my neighbors because she has full sun. It's along the fence there. It mm -hmm. there's no trees blocking wide open because she doesn't have anything in her yard. So I, <laughs> I'm planting hundreds of plants that are going to end up over. <laughs> this could be a problem. It does say you know perfect towards the back of a mixed or her herbaceous border for the best results. It needs full sun, lots of space, and shelter from strong winds. Oh my god, I have such bad winds out back. That could be a problem. Right. But if it's against the fence. Well, my fence, none of my I can't do my fence with um sun. My my fence. So it would have to be on her side in the fence. Okay. But I only have like three big containers there right now. I don't really have her. So it's all rocks along there. So planting in the ground on her side is, um, mm, I don't know. Oh, no. I'll, 
I this is the planning stage. So I I, I buy the seeds. I start mm -hmm. all the seeds, mm -hmm. and then I decide where everything goes as I'm out there with the tray in my hand. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm how, just so that's how planning impressed. goes impressed with just how beautiful everything that you grow grows it's just absolutely amazing i think for me especially with the soil blocks like i know a lot of people kind of struggle with them and everything for me what makes it work so well is that it's in my bedroom like it's right next to my bed right and so every morning i get up i check on them you know throughout the yeah. day if i'm there and before i go to bed at night if they need water right. I can. If they were down in, say, the basement or another room in the house I wasn't in as often or um, something like that, then I think it would probably be a lot harder to keep up on the watering and, and everything because some of the mini soil blocks like these trays, if it's if if it's full sun, uh, I find when they get bigger like this, not so much, but more like when they're starting to grow and they really start putting on the roots, like you you have to water them at least twice a day sometimes right. when it's when it's right. like that. Um, wow. Now less. For some reason, they don't drink as much. It's like that within like week two to three is where they seem to really just gobble up the water. I have a fan going. And then, you know, if the, the sun's coming in and it's warm, like it was a couple of weeks ago, everything was like drying up. That's what I almost lost my eggplant. I forgot. I forgot to mm. check. My husband went to bed early and he unplugged everything, turned off the lights. <laughs> when I came up, I forgot to double check them. Because oh. um, I just uncovered them that morning. Mm -hmm. And I forgot that they would need a little top and off. So that was the problem mm. with, with those. But that's it so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, if they were in a basement, they would they would probably have dried out. If I had to go down the twice a day, it's just not going to happen. And that's right. why, like when we do have set up the greenhouse, which is just a small six by six um, DIY little greenhouse that's out there. Yeah. Um, I don't really put anything out there that's in the mini soil blocks unless it's like the week that I'm out planting out. And so I'm out there a lot set up. Um, but otherwise they're just with the heat, you just can't control the heat in there. The temperatures, we have two fans going. Uh, the mm -hmm. mini box just can't. That's what I'm worried about getting a greenhouse here is that there's enough sun that it might fry things. Well, I have, um, my husband has set up two fans, the venting fans at the back. So once the temperature reaches, I don't know, 85 or something, they open up and pull the air out. And then we have another fan that's on the front that circulates. Oh, that's it's cool. All, it's all automated. Um, mm -hmm. So that's something. So yeah, if you're setting up a, a, a greenhouse, you're going to want fans, mm -hmm. um, some way to bring in cooler air. Like ours is it's just six by six. Like it's, it's yeah. you can just open up the front flap. Mm -hmm. uh, fans to circulate. And then you're going to want to have some kind of like a shade cloth that you can put um, over top. Hey, GT. Hey, GT. Thanks for coming in. Oh, hey, GT. So um, it keeps it, you know, pretty much. I mean, it, it'll, it'll get to 100 degrees in there, no problem, if you don't. Mm -hmm. But once mm -hmm. the fans, they do a pretty decent job of, of pulling it out. That's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah. It's been a game changer. I wish we had a shade house is what I need. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably need an anti greenhouse. Yeah, yeah, I need an anti. That, that would be a steam house, not a greenhouse here. Mm -hmm. in <laughs> like, oh, dinner served in the big uh, solar oven outside. Like mm -hmm. I can't can only imagine people who move here from up north and they think like, oh, I'm going to set up a greenhouse like, you know, back up in, you know, whatever state I was in before. Hey, Gary. Hey, Bell Loop. Hey, y'all doing all right today? I'm doing all right. Hey, Bell Loop. I took hey. my daughter to an, a dentist ortho <sighs> consultation, and she's like, oh, I can't do that here. She's going to need more than I can handle. Oh, so. no. Oh. Stop. And I left going, do these jeans make me look poor? Because, uh, <laughs> right, been there, done that, right? Oh my, because we do not have coverage, so oh. right, yeah, because you guys are self employed, exactly. So, I'm gonna have to like put out a plea. Please watch my videos. The kid needs braces. <laughs> 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 go, go watch an extra video after mm -hmm. this one. Thank you. Uh, 
Because yeah, YouTube ain't covering those. <laughs> yeah. No. no. Yeah. I'd have to quad quintuple tuple my views for that. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe you could uh, give them a free commercial on your channel too. The place. Yeah. Take her. Oh. Uh, film the whole thing and be like, I'm putting it up like a commercial, but only the good part. So you know, give me yeah. a big discount. Sure. Yeah. Happy. Well. The, I know. I know how that goes. Usually they'll give you um like our dentist does a pretty decent like cash discount. So mm -hmm. yeah. when I went in and had like here's the bill and I'm like, um and they're like, Oh, it's where's your insurance? I'm like, I don't have insurance. And she's like, Oh, let me go talk to the dentist. So then she went back and he came in and just was like flash, slash, slash. So I'm like, Aww. thank you. Oh, so. I'm sorry. I mean, I smacked. So that's why well, I wanted to do the the braces through them because we've been going to them for probably yeah uh, years. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, me too, Storm. She said that, and I was like, <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. I hope it's Yay. not a problem. Me being a guy I'm up here with all these, you know, lovely ladies. <laughs> we need a little, uh, a little. Yeah, you gotta up your mic. I can't. I yeah. can't hear that at all. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Give me. And we can. That's we gonna can be handle you. Trying to get a word in there. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good luck getting a word in here. Wow. Wow. Rashawn yeah. just, you know, you just kicked him out. Wow. I just kicked him out. Know? I am the bouncer, but whatever. <laughs> well, you're too quiet. Wow. I'm with you. <laughs> what happened? Wow. He's fiddling Oops. with his microphone. Oh, he mm -hmm. hit a wrong button. Oops. Mm -hmm. He'll be back. That's mm -hmm. it's related. No, he's down in the basement. He's working on it. Yeah, that is sweet, and she says she has a vet charging her only cost. Oh, the vet bill's here. Yeah, here too. There's a vet that goes on the radio on the weekends. My husband was talking about he was watching, like, or whatever. He was listening to the guy, and he's like, basically, the, like, one-year rabies shot and the three-year rabies shot is the exact same shot. Hmm. The only difference is the three-year costs three times as much, and you get a three-year tag. So... Oh. You don't even get a discount. That's what pissed me off. It's like, well, I might as well get the three year because then I don't have to come back every year um, mm -hmm. and then pay the vet bill and all of that. And so I'm expecting it to be, you know, maybe, you know, one and a half times, whatever, maybe double. Mm -hmm. they, it was the whole three. I was like, what? I'm like, how is this three? Well, they're like, well, it's a three year shot. It's three times. A so I was not impressed with that. But that means if you're going just every year, you're like overdosing your dog. Yeah. Like, what the heck? What a scam. Yeah. yeah. That is a scam. Hey, Food Forest. And then he was saying the whole, like, heartworm tests. He goes, if it was an exceptional. And a lot of times, if they have heartworms, you treat them with the same medication you give them to prevent it. So. Mm-hmm. <sighs> it's, so, yeah. it's so stinking frustrating, you know? Like. I did hit the Everything's wrong a scam. button. <laughs> did you? Oh, you did I, the comment. Yeah, it's okay. Go ahead. I, hey, I'm not used to doing things from this end, and you know, from, our neighbor. Uh, as far as changing things up, most of the time, it seems like when I'm changing things, it's on my, you know, whenever I'm on, like my own live stream, and so it's it's, um, I I had to go into settings, but instead I went into the three dots thing. I'm used oh. to. It, you know, Editing other people's mic volume. Right. I'm not, I'm not like, used, whoops. Just not used to editing my own. So I went into there, the three dots in the thing, and I accidentally hit the thing about cut off the mic and the thing. So right. That's all right. Yeah. No, we can we can totally handle you. We're 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 not worried. Yeah, uh, we, we're I we're good. Get worries about that. I just you know, <laughs> he's he's brave. <laughs> Um, yeah. One thing I was going to say to you about Luke was I, when I was on your live on Saturday night, I just love that you go, you were taking everybody around and showing people's channels and then you're, you know, and you're going, they have this many subscribers and this many videos. Mm -hmm. And I loved that you were doing this kind of real um, selfless promotion for, yeah. you know, people there. Like it was like, man, yeah. that's going to be something like, it's like, I think I want to do that where you go, let's take, you know, 30 minutes of my live and let's go and look at people's channels. Yeah. Um, so it's been around on YouTube for a bit. You, uh, yeah. When I first came on, Two Family had a 
a channel just dedicated to that. Mm -hmm. And it is a great thing to do for your followers. It's really nice to do it for your followers, but they would do reviews too. They would Mm -hmm. interview the person, review their channel and help them out to grow. Wow. Yeah. I want to do reviews. When I first started doing live streams, I used to have a uh, Sunday show that was dedicated to nothing but doing that shout outs. And, uh, you know, I believe, um, I believe in helping other folks and trying to promote, you know, after all, the stronger I make them, the better I make my own community. So absolutely, it's, uh, you know, I think that, you know, it's better to to give than to receive. And absolutely, I'm not really, I mean, my main channel belt loop 29 is already monetized you know and i probably ought to pay more attention to it than i do but mm-hmm. you know i got so many other things that i'm doing and you know i i get an idea in my head it's like i just got my homestead channel up to over 500 subscribers mm-hmm. and so mm-hmm. you know on my youtube police i'm i guess i'm kind of working on watch hours because it's close to the 3000 level where I can get the fan funding, even though I may wait till the 4000. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Yeah. Right. But it's just a goal, you know, mm-hmm. every penny I've ever made on any, on any of my live streams has been given right back to the community in mm-hmm. one way. Or another. Um, yeah. But, you know, I, I pay my bills from my, from my job. I work 40 hours a week. Well, right. Sometimes. And so, and I get paid pretty well at this point. I hadn't always, but mm-hmm. you know, I got like a 70% raise, I guess, in 2022. Ooh. And so, you know, well, I mean, price everything. That's gone amazing. Up. Yeah. But yeah, I was thankful for it. Yeah. Um, but We're kind of I, stuck on salary down here and it's not going up much because my husband started high, but we could really use a bump like that. That would change our lives. Yeah. That's great. Well, it, it more or less has changed mine. I mean, yeah. I'm I still I was raised extreme. I was raised dirt poor, mm. and so mm-hmm. you know I've always lived my life as as inexpensively as I could. And so I mean, my trucks paid for. I do have a car note on my wife's car, mm-hmm. but I try to keep some kind of account running at any given time just for credit and what have you. Um, you know, they look at that type of thing and Absolutely. I'll, have look, I'll have to look at something else. Once I finish, I, I'm not far from paying off her car and I'll probably find something else just to buy, just to keep a, a credit line open. But I make sure my payments aren't real expensive and what have you. Um, I live cheaply. And so, but that's allowed me to bless some other people. I, I don't rely mm-hmm. on the, you know, um, I, I've never been meant to have money. And so it doesn't mean that much to me. It's just a tool. And so right. how I got to that from shouting out other channels, I don't know. I get it. <laughs> but yeah. anyhow. Mm-hmm. Well, you yeah, no. visit a lot of lives and you interact with a lot of channels. Thank so that know. does help. That definitely mm-hmm. helps. So yeah, people absolutely. know you all around and different in the different yeah. communities. You know, yeah. and subscribing from each of your your channels that mm-hmm. that makes a huge that difference. That does make a difference, yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially you know, when somebody's it. close to that marker, you know. Yeah. And it's like it's a girl. You know, when you when you hit two thousand, I didn't make a big deal out of it. I didn't like do a special live because of it. Yeah. But it's a big deal. You know, because you work so hard for every little subscriber and to keep them nowadays. I mean, yeah. I think it's very unfair. The keeping them. Yeah. The keeping <laughs> them yeah. part. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to me, it all, almost seems anticlimactic. Mm-hmm. I mean, just because it, I mean, I don't, like I said, I don't, I don't want to say I don't care. I mean, because that's obviously something I focus on. Yeah. But it, to me, if you're focused on something, you kind of expect it to happen on along and you work towards that goal. Right. <laughs> Anne's like, thought he was stalking me. Yeah, I come across him all the time wherever I go on live. Just joking, Belt Loop, about the stalking part. That was Anne. <laughs> well, <laughs> it can feel time. like that sometimes. It can, yeah. yeah, with certain channels too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I've been burnt out for a while about it and I'm just getting back. 
to where I'm yeah. feeling I'm enjoying going to different live streams and going to, you know, mm-hmm. and, you know, for, for a while after I got monetized, it, it seemed like I was so focused on trying to, I felt more pressure. And, you know, at the, at that time, I think I was doing a Tuesday night and a Thursday night uh, live streams at midnight. I was doing one on, I think I'd started doing one on Fridays and I was still doing my one on Saturdays and I was still doing one on Sundays. And so that was a lot of live streaming um, and doing videos and working a full time job. And, wow. you know, it's well, I don't have any kids, so I don't have a whole lot of distractions, I guess. And I do mm-hmm. tend to be a little OCD. So I got that term from the OCD is chick. Yeah. <laughs> well, it seems like those are the people who are successful who have a bit of that. I dropped my OCD probably in my 30s. So I don't know how it happened, but it just suddenly left. And I was very happy it left because it used yeah. to make me hecka anxious, like yeah. super, super anxious. Well, I don't tend to be. Well, maybe I do. I, all I know is that once once I focus, start focusing on something, you know, that's about all I can focus on. And mm-hmm. there's a lot to learn. The thing about, I mean, most of the time, my, my obsessions or whatever you want to call it, run their run their uh, race, run their route, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. For about two months. Their course. But, you know, I feel like I've learned as much as I can in that time frame. There's two things that have kind of hung around, one of which is kind of gardening. And that's kind of fallen a little bit. But because of the fact my wife loves it, you know, she's been racing or been gardening for uh, longer than I've known her. And so, you know, but her focus is on herbs and and, you know, flowers and that type of thing. While where my focus tends to be on peppers and tomatoes and, you know, squash and stuff you can eat. Um, mm-hmm. Anyhow, but YouTube, there's always something new on YouTube. There's always something new to focus on. But when mm-hmm. I felt like it was becoming a job, then uh, I get kind of burnt out. And I've, it's been a long time since I've enjoyed just hopping on to different live streams. And I'm back. I think I'm back to doing that. So that's right. what I've been doing. I, I had been doing the live um you know trying to get monetized that's what we all do you have to do your weekly lives and yeah. i regretted having started off doing bi-weekly lives um mm-hmm. when first started off but my daughter was a lot younger at the time and i was going thursday nights and oh bye howie was- good force was- culture sorry i didn't get to even say hi to you i'm sorry howie I'm multitasking like crazy over here And so then, yeah, it was just like, um, you know, we'd be at the park too late. And it was just like, ah, so, you know, every other week was was good. And then when I got monetized, I was like, oh, I really got to, I got to step this up. So I switched to every week. And then in last year, last January, I went to Alaska. So I was gone for a few weeks. When I got back, I wasn't feeling well. And then in March, I got, I lost my voice for like two weeks. Wow. And by that time like three other channels had like filled in that time slot Mm -hmm. (laughs) I was like okay well I didn't feel like I could do it it just I don't know it felt kind of rude and then um I was like kind of enjoying the freedom I'll be honest of not being tied down every Thursday night um and so I was thinking of maybe starting back and then uh, my daughter and I have been going to these um library programs and they're these craft programs and they were every Thursday night Mm-hmm. And then sometimes they'll have right. an additional one on Tuesday nights. And then we yep. go to a, uh, a makers making change program once a Wednesday night, once a month mm-hmm. on Wednesdays. And mm-hmm. it just was like, I don't know. So I've kind of gone to just where I'm doing basically maybe once a month, I'll do a pop-up live just when I feel like it yeah. Yeah. and popping in on other people's lives back to it. Yeah. Like I do know that that's probably the best way to grow the channel, but um, wow. I've kind of enjoyed not doing it because yeah. yeah i mean i still work and i've got a teenage daughter and yeah i have a lot of other hobbies <laughs> yeah <laughs> well family like, busy. Yeah. family yeah. first right? yeah family I first mean, we got to take care of our families first because yeah none of none of this matters yeah well and, the and some people is- will say that and then they're not family first at all you right. can yeah yeah well right. then the other the biggest problem is is i do my lives on the computer 
Mm-hmm. And this is also where mm-hmm. my daughter plays video games. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we had that gonna, going here one time. Then too. Mm-hmm. she can't or whatever. So it's less likely I can do a pop-up live in the evenings because she's, you know, her and her friends, they've got all these plans yeah. and they're playing Roblox. That's and their and social their time. Thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And her friends that used to live up the street, there were three girls, they were best friends. Aww. They moved away. Oh, um, an hour away, but then like they used to be over all the time. Still, yeah. And so hard. she doesn't get to see them. So that's when she gets to hang out with them and all her friends and they're, you know, they're having fun. And I'm like, you know what, especially in winter, like it's so stinking cold in the summer. She won't be home until dark. Right. She's out. Right. Um, this summer, it might be different, though, without them there. Hmm. Well, that's a whole new bailiwick, though, as far as, yeah. uh, you know, talk. Well, I'm I'm talking about the, the way to get monetized, that type of thing. Yes, mm-hmm. you can get monetized. Obviously, there's a lot of people that do, you know, by networking on live streams and what have you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I think most everybody here, though, does some gardening and that type of thing. And in order i believe and i may i could be wrong but i believe in order to grow beyond a certain point if somebody's interested in that they have to focus you know on the type of longer format videos maybe Mm -hmm. maybe even shorts on occasion well laura Mm -hmm. grew a lot and she wasn't doing lives at the time she was doing her videos and her content and her longer form of what she's doing on their new land and she basically her and her husband did the dream that a lot of people are hoping they got out of the suburbs bought land built on the land and then of course you know brought in all they're bringing in all the animals now bit by bit right yeah i think that's a real hook for people is you have to have you, you to took a, a real break, didn't you, Laura? You took a break and you were still growing off your videos. You weren't doing a lot of lives then. I was yeah. doing a lot of shorts. Um, yeah. You did. But no, I wasn't doing lives because I was, was possible. Too I was busy. I was kind of getting turned off by some of the community too, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. Um and um but I was still involved and yes, and, but I no. couldn't and and I felt like my husband's mm-hmm. more important and he was getting upset that I was spending so much because it was all about YouTube. And it's funny because yeah. as soon as I kind of backed off and I said, Lord, this is yours. Yep. This is yours. If you want us to make money doing this, that's great, but this is yours. So I'm gonna back off and I'm just gonna let, you know, mm-hmm. and I do I'm more interested in really getting to know people yeah. you know yeah and oh, no. and, well, well, and and stuff like that then yeah. but my husband's not and so not not that he's not interested in getting to know people he's mm-hmm. just very private and and likes so his mine. own yeah. space yeah my you know? wife let me yeah. ask this Laura. uh when you kind of backed off um in that aspect did you uh did you put out more or start putting focus and more on like shorts or uh longer format um when you were doing i am just i'm i consistently put out i i was doing longer formats every other day shorts every day um it did help that i got some puppies yeah, um, that's right. Better adults now, huh? Belt Loop knows. <laughs> Belt Loop has the what is it? The cute animals one, and yeah, he's got yeah. it. That is so. Um, yeah, but you know, we were also we were also building a house, building a shop, you know, building on our right. land, starting a whole. The channels that have that story, it yeah. really does help draw in no views. And, give, it, um, give it to me. You know, like my wild home. Give I mean, me. they're, they're no. building on a freaking island. Like they're starting from mm-hmm. scratch, yes, right? You know, yes. Danny at Wicked Awesome Gardening, you know, she's out there, you know, demoing he's a POS trailer. And, yeah. um, you know, it, it, it's different than, you know, oh, there's Rochelle planting the same plants in the same garden, doing the same thing <laughs> she did the last three years. Like, I get it, right? Like, there's not, I don't have that catch. Like, I just, I, I don't, right? And Dexter is not pulling his weight. No, I'm just gonna tell you right now. <laughs> he's, he's he's so fire dumb. that dog. Fire he needs that to dog. Step up. He needs to step it up. I got him a freaking grow GoPro harness. Mm, there you go. Put the thing yeah. on him. Shook it off. Move. Oh, he st- <laughs> just stands there with it. 
typical punk behavior. behavior. And then he just went and he just stood and stared at himself in. Yeah. Oh, I funny. Think, I think what confused him was when he puts on a harness, that means we're going for a walk. Right. Oh, well, why the okay. heck are we still in the backyard? He was waiting to be hooked he up. He's waiting he's to like... go. And and I'm like, no, come here. run Because he's running in circles. He's running through the beds. He's an absolute maniac. Put mm -hmm. the thing on him. Nothing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. And it's so hot. <laughs> yeah, behavior. exactly. It's such mm -hmm. a stubborn. And out comes the Boston Terriers. <laughs> and there, oh, there we they go. are. They're so cute. Right, Where did they go. come from? I got them these from Devil Dog. Uh, yeah. In fact, traveling with Merton and Sue, they've got the sister and brother of Aww. these people. And you wake those I, up. Like, He's getting into stuff. A lot of people are familiar wow. with Nikki. She's from the hey. same parents, but a different litter. And so, the yeah, Aww. and I've got, you know, I, I, hey, it's been my experience that the shorts, you know, do gain, do gain uh, subscribers. Yeah. And but that doesn't really translate to watch hours. So no. long format does you know does get watch hours and being right. consistent like you were with that, Laura. You know I can certainly see why they would. Uh, if you're consistent with it, they know they've got a marketable product that they can go through and put out. Um, mm -hmm. The Rochelle, you have you know people that are interested you know in what you're doing. It's sometimes it's a question of timing. You know, right. all that gardening blew up in 2020 because of the thing. And there have yeah. been a lot of channels that have grown because of that. Yeah. Um, they were well placed. They already had a library, you know, what have you. Yeah. I'm, I'm boring AJ over here. <laughs> I think I think one of the things that um, smaller channels can do is actually teach gardening a little more. Because mm -hmm. the bigger channels, they other than garden answers, um, they don't really teach it. You know what I mean? They show it, look what I did, look what I'm doing, but they don't really teach much, you know, right unless you, unless you can catch what they're, they're kind of throwing out there. You know right. what I mean? So I, I try, I find if I do a teacher video, um, I get the comments are weird. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, really? Yeah. Mm. So, you know, yeah, people like to be a little um judgmental. Yeah, and it just weird and say stupid things. And it's like, what is your deal? Like, why? Yeah. Well, you know, you, you use what works for you, right? Like, darn, I missed my it. My husband's like, oh, well, I've <laughs> talked about, you know, the potting mix you're using indoors. And I'm like, not really. Yeah. Because Miracle Grow indoor potting mix that I bought at Costco. And the reason I'm using that is because there's no compost and there's no bark. And that means that I've had seedlings growing for like six weeks now and I have not seen one single fungus gnat. And the same thing last year, no fungus gnats because I'm using an indoor potting mix and right. I'm buying it for Costco has, that's what I'm buying. And they had the Miracle Grow. So right. suck it. <laughs> <laughs> that's how i feel about it okay right um, well you know and that's what works yeah. for you yeah mm -hmm. and so some people are just they're so uptight about their ideals and, well, well i can't buy this and i can't buy i'm like listen i like i don't have a lot of money i buy it at costco because it's half the price almost of anywhere else mm -hmm. and and honestly that's the only place i can buy it this time of right. year like mm -hmm. I can't go to Home Depot or Lowe's and buy potting soil, really. Like they like don't that, have it. That garden they section's not open it. yet. Mm -hmm. Right. So, right. like, and especially during lockdowns, um, Home Depot, Lowe's, that was all stuff that we had to like. There was all pickup orders only. You could not mm -hmm. go into the stores, and so mm -hmm. most of them didn't even order in any gardening supplies. They didn't oh, order wow. in soil. They didn't order in plants. They didn't order in starts. There were no start by in the spring of 2020 here in Ontario. We were in full lockdown for three months. The only place I could go and buy stuff was Costco. Mm -hmm. So what, what they had is what I used. So they start off usually earlier in the year with this indoor potting mix. Yeah. And then they will switch to the big pro mix bales, which are my absolute favorite pots. Mm -hmm. And then usually they will also get in the miracle Grow moisture control. And I buy that for my hanging baskets. Mm-hmm. You know, people have a tendency to want to feel morally superior. 
Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do see a lot of that. Not everybody has an understanding that, you know, a lot of us out here just do the best we can with what we got. And yeah. so I'd be willing to bet a lot of these folks. May, I mean, I've had people that got that have made comments on my cute critters channel because I'll, I'll oftentimes I'll take Nikki with me like to the grocery store, but I can't take her in. But if it's a little cool, I'll turn this. I leave my truck on. I carry two sets of keys so I can leave my truck running and, you know, lock the doors to make sure you know, that she's safe. I leave it running with the, with the either air or heat running, depending on how the temperature is. Mm -hmm. But yet I still got people that come on there and say something. If I saw that, your dog would be mine. I said, no, I first I'd have to arrest you. And then I have to <laughs> pay attention that the truck was running. I'd love to be able to pull out a badge every which of the while. Well, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a flex, be, okay? That's a flex. I know. It, <laughs> hey, it wouldn't be much more than an idle threat. I mean, I am a police officer, but that's not my jurisdiction there at the yeah. grocery store. And right. so, um, it was more or less just telling them, hey, slow your roll. You know, oh, yeah. You know, pay attention before you think, before you speak. And some people just have a desire to act like they're better than thou. And so, you know, it is what it is. And sometimes if you think, it, and hey, Lord knows I don't get into politicians, that type of thing, but, you know, in politics and what have you, but I think a lot of them have sculpted their life and have been very careful about what they make pu public. Um, oh yeah. And, you know, it's, I would never it's run all, for public office. Yeah. Me neither. But <laughs> you would be amazing. Videos though. alone. <laughs> the, uh, anyhow, I, Hey, it was great to see y'all. Thank y'all for having me on. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm in the process of getting ready to go to, you know, getting ready to go to work. I'm mostly there, but I still have a few things to do. And, uh, you know, anyhow, I just wanted to come up and say, hey, yeah, um, yeah. if y'all get a wild hair, I'll see. Hopefully I'll see you in the future. I know I'll see you over here on some live streaming. But, y'all, hey, if y'all see me live, feel free to come up on, you know, we can talk gardening or whatever. Just, you know, we try to stay away from politics and religion. I mean, yeah. not that I'm not not that I'm not a spiritual person or not that I'm not a spiritual person i am mm -hmm. but i, mm -hmm. I tend to it's feel like just people, not worth it well yeah. it, again you get those individuals that say hey you're going to hey hades if Ugh. you didn't get baptized in jesus's name rather than you know you got baptized oh i have no tolerance Father. for intolerance so exactly mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. <laughs> my way of doing things is I'd rather do things that talk about things that we can agree on than things we can't. Yeah, anyway, absolutely. Absolutely. Y'all see me live on any of my channels. Feel free to hop on up on panel. Much love for everybody. Just yeah. you know, keep it so. Yeah. Much yeah. love to you too. Have a great day. Good luck. Go okay, nail that. So yeah, <laughs> right. Hey Maureen. So yeah, like so now it's over. That's right. Like it, that's right. The Canadians have taken Canada over. In the house. Um, <laughs> yes. Canadians. You will all have cold weather now. No. <laughs> that's right. And we will we will cause it. Whoa, I'm going to push mine down. I'm going to blow right. it down. It, it was it a here. Chillier, chillier today for us, too. Um, we had we were having some beautiful weather the last week ooh. or so. We were all, like, we almost, we were at 69. Absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. And then this week it's like back to the 30s. Mm -hmm. Lori, it's all right, Lori. We got you. Yeah. We got yeah, you. And, to party, um, yeah. That's right. That's right. We can oh. say whatever we want now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, you know, back to the, you know, trying to push out the channel and having the balance of family and all of that sort of thing and having well, the content. <sighs> I'm like you, where it's like, I'm doing the same thing. It's okay. Same here, stuff, right? Yeah. It's like, here we are planting our starts again. But at the same time, Rochelle, is that yeah, I know. there are new people coming in. There are new, more people coming in. Right. And honestly, like I, I started watching Garden Answer, um, you know, prior to. 
the big thing. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was already watching a handful of other gardening channels because I've been gardening in this garden for almost 20 years now, right? Like I've been right. growing stuff from seeds for the past years. Um, mm -hmm. I know a lot of people like started within the last few years, started right. in COVID. Um, yeah. I've been doing it for a long them. time, watching those videos for a long time. And like Laura at Garden Answer, I was happy to watch her do the same thing every year in her little garden, which was still enormous. Um, and then they like kept buying well, in order to get her channel to grow, she had to expand. She had to be doing new things and new projects. And I think right. in a way she was right in like building the channel, right? Like she's at over, you know, like 1.5 million subscribers now. Um, wow. And that's like their full-time job, right? Her and her husband both quit their jobs. That's the, they have full-time staff. They have two editors. Like it's, it's mm -hmm. a, it's a whole production yep. going yep. on. Um, to me, it has lost a bit of what I loved about the channel to start with. Like, I still watch it. I don't watch every video. Like, I, I was, like, hooked on it before. Um, I don't watch every video. Like, if it's not something that pertains to me, like pruning or, or grapes, I don't have those. I don't care. Right. Um, but it's not as relatable. Right? And so mm. there was this discussion in 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 her on her Facebook page the other day and someone saying, I just don't really enjoy it as much. It's not as relatable. Even before when it was a large garden, it was still like a, a, a large garden. Right. She, they've got all this property and acreage and it's, you know, the money they're spending. Um, right. She goes, it's just not so relatable. And so I posted, I said, oh, well, you'll love my channel. It's relatable. I am poor. I am broke AF. <laughs> 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 right. So, I mean, the reason I started my channel was because I'm in a townhouse and yet I still am able to grow. Yes. So I was hoping, you know, because I started because I, saw, I was watching one of Laura's videos and she was doing tours, you know, guard tours. She did one at her house and she did one at her parents' house and they had like different rooms, you know, different right. sections of the garden, different names for mm. everything. And it's like an hour and a half to tour. <laughs> And I'm like wow. looking out of my backyard, which is like what 17 feet wide, and I'm like, and <laughs> here's the backyard, <laughs> right? Here's then I thought, here's zooming yeah. in, zooming out, yeah. zooming in, and zooming out. <laughs> it's like I don't need a drone; I can just stand in my bedroom window. Like that's that's my yard. Yeah. Um, I think it's what 17 by 75. Like I do have a long. Yes, backyard, you do. Yes, but it, you it's do. all hill. So yes. the first part is slanted down a bit with the deck and the walkway, and then it dips down and then yep. it's hill. Yep. So it's not a lot of usable. If it was flat, there would be a pool. Like it would be a totally different background. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, like, you know what? There's other people like me that live in, you know, a lot of these neighborhoods that have really small backyards and they just think, oh, I don't have, you know, these big properties. I can't, I can't really grow anything. Yeah. So that was my, my whole motivation, but um nobody seems to care so <laughs> <laughs> it was a good theory yeah yeah but honestly yeah. um because I kind of went through that when I was pushing to you know get monetized right it was a real you know once you start like you can taste it right you're getting close you know you're getting close with your numbers you're getting close with your hours um yeah. I really put in a ton of work and I pushed it and I pushed those next several months those videos lives and i was going gangbusters you know and then i got my first you know like notice and it's like huh you made a dollar 18 it was it was very demoralizing and i see that happen to a lot of of content creators that really really push to get monetized and so those like two or three months once they get monetized it's like you don't see they don't post another video <laughs> <laughs> for a while like they're exhausted they're burnt out and they realize i did all of that work for, for what like for yeah what? like unless your channel gets to where you have i would say you know maybe 15 20 000 subscribers um yeah. watching your videos i mean yeah it's 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 just a hobby like they're yeah. you're not getting anything really back out of it right yeah. like anything yeah. i have made off of youtube um like I bought seeds and it's gone, right? Like it's not. Yeah. No. It's, no. It's yeah. Not. That's what and I. So, I know. Like, do I want to? Like, I think you know, Google Ads, putting ads out there, um, maybe doing the membership. Like, I would have to invest a lot of time, effort, and money right. to try and really build it up. Right. And I just am like, am I at that point in my life where I want to do that? Yeah, put my focus. Yeah. You know, I'm still working work full time with my husband, um, but we're self employed, right? So some days we have off, some days we work, some days we work weekends. Like 
our schedule is not like a nine to five um, at all, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Construction. Um, so it's kind of all over the place. And we're kind of at a place now where, you know, you get a day off and it's, it's yeah. like, do I really like, I do, I want this to become, and I, I had kind of made that mistake with the sewing. Um, mm -hmm. Back in the day, I tried to make some money off of it and it just became, it was annoying. Right. Mm. Like you put all this time and effort into it and nobody wants to pay what anything is worth. No. Nobody understands mm. the cost of materials and how much that right. goes into a bag. Right. You make a purse and they're like, oh, well, I'll put, you know, oh, I, I'll pay, you know, I'll pay 20 bucks for that. And it's like, well, it cost me $40 for the material and another 20 for the hardware. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to say nothing of my time. Right. And so it's exactly. Yeah. Right. That's hard with anything creative on the creative side. See, I see what Storms is saying. So even mine, like what I made last year, of course, it's, it's you know, way under anything for taxes. Um, mm -hmm. I think in the U.S., what is it, like $400? Um, if you make over $400, you have to pay like self-employment insurance and all. Mm -hmm. I did not make $400 last year on the YouTube. Um, so I'm like, I'm not worried about it. But I don't know, this year, maybe, maybe I would. I don't know. So it's like, you got to start keeping track of your receipts. Yep. And then you got to, so I'm an American citizen living in Canada. I have to pay both taxes. Boo. Um, I have to file. Yeah. So okay. um, so my husband was like, just, just stop being monetized. Like for the 200 and some bucks you made last year, like it'll cost more to go to the tax account, Yeah. <laughs> you know, to do the, to, to pay the accountant to do your tax return. Right. Like it's going to cost you more mm -hmm. than that. But then I'm like, but I, but I worked so hard to get there. I don't. Yeah. So, yeah. So anyway, so those people out there that, you know what, don't listen to me. Go no, for it. It, you're going all of your dreams. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. I, I do that to Maureen all the time because I've been on for a while too. And I can't really dedicate much between being sick and before I was my mother's caregiver and then she passed away and I was completely wrecked by that. So no. It's well, you were a double caregiver and now you're. Yeah. Now I'm a single care. Yeah. Yeah. Special needs caregiver. And then also I have my daughter who doesn't drive on her own because when she was younger too, she had high functioning autism. So there's processing there with learning to drive. It's a lot of processes. And so, yeah. Hey, Billy. Um, so yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, you know, uh, Rochelle, like um, my, I didn't know her at the time, but it's like um, Lisa from A Simple Life, you know, I started in, we both started the same year and the same uh, month. Like I'm at the beginning of February, she's at the end of February. And uh, I think it, I think she, she monetized, so it's 2021. So I think she was monetized by by that December of 2022. Yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, and it's like, it's just like, and she does not do lives. No, she, and she does not do. I don't know. She does shorts. Mm -hmm. And I think the last time I looked, she's at, uh, she was hitting 30,000 subscribers. And she's but, in a high, I think it's called like, me. She's in a what, high me too. Where yeah, she, you go, I how, cannot how, speak what, of her what? channel. But I do not understand it. We call them unicorns. Okay. Yeah. We, there yeah. are a handful of channels. So I used to be in a Facebook group and there were a handful of channels that were in there and we would help, you know, get that person to that thousand yeah. subscribers, yeah. get them to there. And then it was like one lady, three months, she was at like 8,000 subscribers and yeah. it's been like a but year Does she half. have anything prior, like on the socials that she pulled over? No. Was it? And okay. her videos are not that great. Like, I don't get it. I is do it not like get it. style videos, though? No. Nope. Is it like, gardening. watch me clean? It's gardening. Is she half dressed? No. Nope. No, nope, not at all. Nothing like that. Weird. Um, it's just, I don't know. And I keep, and so I would kind of, I'm kind of friends with her a bit. And I keep wanting to ask her, like, what the heck did you do? Like, did you sell yes. your soul to the devil? Did you yes. buy Google ads? Like, what yes. happened? There's two other time who got monetized about a year ahead of me mm -hmm. um, in that group and <laughs> one of them is Niles Gardens and honestly he deserves every let me see if I can pull this channel every ounce of recognition that he gets his photography itself is is brilliant. Mm, he right. is incredibly um, well spoken. He's Irish so again it's a smaller 
right community mm-hmm. there. He's sitting at 43.3 thousand subscribers. Well, right. you know, he Irish, he's Irish guys featured on he's Bumble. featured on a lot of local yeah. programs. They pull them in and stuff. And, and I think part of it too is um again, like you're in a small place of Ireland and you get one guy that's you know doing gardening channels and you got a small that's that's who you bring in right mm-hmm. meanwhile I'm here in, in in Toronto which is like you know the GTA is like close to 10 million people yeah <laughs> yeah all live within each other um mm-hmm. uh, you know I think the pool is just it, it makes a difference um yeah but, but his his photography his way of speak it, it, when you watch his channel you feel like you're watching a TV like something off of you know like British gardening channel, right? Like it's what's just his, a really what's his channel name again? Um, not, oh. and he is a deer. He is just the say it again. Guy. You guys say um, it again. You locked up at that moment. Yeah. I'll type it in the chat. Okay. Okay. Niles, because I would like to go say Niles. Niles or, I, yeah, I knew it was Niles. Niles is his name. Yeah, and he's just he's just he's mm-hmm. just the sweetest, you know, mild mannered, charming um, mm-hmm. guy, and and it's like you know we kind of were, you know, I we were contemporaries at one time. <laughs> And then he just went like, pew. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then another lady, um, Allie, um, she's in Scotland. And they're friends as well. And her, um, you know, her channel just. And she's started doing a few lives. She did a live Friday. I popped in and she had um, Gardner Scott was on. The bigger um, channels are starting to do lives. It's interesting. That they're oh, starting. That's because they realize. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, exactly. What's their one? It's called Kitchen Garden. And they, get, and they will get uh, super chats in those lives too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I've had two super chats in my life, by the way. Oh, you've yeah. had them though. In my first monetized live, I had two. Yeah. Um, in the garden with Eli and Kate, and hers is at um, 30,000 subscribers. Yeah. Wow. And um, this Nile Garden, he only has 153 videos. I just got, I just uh, posted my yeah. 402nd video. This, see, this is the thing. Him and Eli, especially Eli, she's like, because she, she was talking in the group about how she goes around doing it. And also, uh, Serena and from um, You Can't Eat the Grass. They focus on one long content video a week. Yeah. Well done. High production value. Yeah. Good editing. All in TV series version. Boom. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. They don't mm-hmm. do shorts. They don't do any of these vlogging half ass videos mm-hmm. that I play all the time. Um, like, here, videotape my me drinking my bottle and, and I'm eating <laughs> also some nuts. Hey. <laughs> Look at the table runner I just sewed. Um, yeah, right. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I think in that they are drawing in, and then and this is the, my husband and his wisdom. He keeps telling me you need to get people who watch your content that are not content creators, right? Like that's oh yeah, that's where the views We've are. Talked and I'm like, that. well, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he loves. Yeah. I that? call him Captain Obvious all the time. Yeah. yeah. And I think that that's where that's the niche that these two have really trapped in on with, especially mm-hmm. this longer content video. It's these people who used to really like watching home uh, HGTV. They like watching PBS, those garden videos where yeah. it just it feels very um, professional. Mm-hmm. They're not content creators themselves. They don't they're not commenting on the videos. They're not, you know, any of that. Um you know, whereas I'm like, you know, stuck in this world of just every other content creator, right? So right. when people come right. to my channel and start watching my stuff, I feel compelled to then go start watching their stuff. So yeah, it's like yeah. I, I content it's like and I could yep. do more lives if I wasn't so busy watching everybody else's stuff. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because it becomes this sense of this this sense of community, right? Yeah, so, we've talked about that. Uh, yeah. And then that. my husband also keeps telling me that I need to um I just need to get a viral video. Oh. Mm. That's but of it. course, let's just pull that out of our uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. behave. Oh yeah. Oh, if I only had thought of that sooner. Yeah. Right. Well, with with yeah. my friend, with my friend Lisa at a simple life, like or simple simple season, she she used to do a lot of videos of her going and looking at deals at um, Costco yep. and stuff like that. And oh, I love those. You know, and you go, which is, but it's like 
you go, who are you, who are you giving this to? Cause you're in Canada and it's like, um, and most of I her subscribers, lady. most of her subscribers are not, um, are not content creators. That's the I other watch, thing. And I will sit and watch his video on top thing things. You must buy at Aldi this week. There's no Aldi in Canada. <laughs> but I'm still fascinated by these deals and I will watch yeah. it and he does one on Sam's Club and yeah. um, he's got one yeah. on, like I don't even have these stores here yeah I, I, I like Costco one right I That's knew where this I got... just Go freaking Aldi one I know this girl and she does that she does lifestyle and like decorate with me and everything like that and mm -hmm. uh, she started just a little bit ahead of me but she's in that high CME where they'll make more money for their views too yeah. And she's at, sitting at 46,000 subscribers right now. God bless you, honey. Um, same thing. Like, I felt all those same feelings that you do. Like, what the mm -hmm. heck? What do I, need I need to do? A, I need to do a, a pug oh, ass tomorrow right? and just stick the microphone right next to Dexter when he's chewing his bone. Oh, I can't do ASMR, Shawnee, because of little man. I'll have come ASMR. On, come on, girls. Come on, girls. Just completely sell Hi, out, will you? Take your shirt <laughs> just, off and stand oh, there we go. to the camera just, and have that as as your uh, oh, icon yes. for your for your channel. I mean, oh, there's that homesteading yeah. channel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on. Oh, yeah. I've been catfished by that channel so many times. <laughs> God. Don't That's ever go on state. in the middle of the night when you're can't. Oh sleep. my gosh. Okay. I gotta find the actual mm -hmm. channel name so no one actually Googles the wrong one. Um yeah. Hey, CR. Yeah. What's it called? Five, five, Laura, I'm gonna have to step down because it's 3 okay. 31 and hubby gets home at five. So I will talk to you guys later. Sorry, I've been so like doo -doo -doo. everything's going on. Hannah had a she might have gotten a job though. That's what she came out. Woo. She's got an interview, so hopefully right on. Like, yeah, with the president. She said it went really well. So hopefully she's Woo. got a job. Woohoo! Nice. Finally. With All right. President? Talk to you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye. Take care, Carol. <laughs> okay. I cannot think of her actual channel name, um, but she's local to me. She's got a decent sized channel. She also sells stuff. She's got a website and stuff. And it's something like the gardening girl. And I made the mistake of Googling gardening girl. Mm. I did not know that there was this whole genre. Corn is like, ooh, close up oh. to, you know, basil plants. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Billy's yeah, like, what was that chat? What was that again? <laughs> hey, uh, what do I'm I Google? <laughs> I, I'm a guy. I got to investigate this now. Wait a minute. <laughs> let me, let me go. I'll do I, some research. I've been, I've been on all those bikini gardening channels and I'm sitting there trying yeah. to learn something and all you got is the butt in the face. And I'm like, okay, pointless. <laughs> Unsubscribe. I'm done. done. You, I mean, you can look teach any, something, right? Like, if you're gonna show anything, something, a little anything. Something. Yeah. Even yeah. what they're doing when they're when they're hunched over, I don't know what they're planting. I don't know what they're adding to the soil. I don't. I, mm. you know, and I'm like, why is why is this person 150k in subs? You know, yeah. how? <laughs> because her understand. viewers are not gardeners. Right. Exactly. They're, I know they're exactly. not. Mm -hmm. They're not there for the gardening. Well, the, see, that's looking. the thing is I've toyed around with doing like a fun, funny naked gardening day. <laughs> and uh, my friend Danny at Wicked Awesome Gardening did that several years ago. She's done a couple. And her first one she did, she got a ton of views and a ton of subscribers. But she was kind of like the next couple videos come out and they were like, hey, what's going on here? Right? <laughs> like, oh, wait, it's. it's yeah. yeah, you're right about vegetables. that, Barry. Well, Barry in the side chat. Viral videos. Every, mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody's like, you just need a viral video. I've had a few. Oh, yeah. But the problem is, is then the the YouTube algorithm goes, you need to only do that now. Mm -hmm. And mm. you can't do that in gardening or, you know, homesteading yeah. or whatever. Exactly. Right. You can't, right. like, I just, I canned, I canned the Huckleberry Jam. It's done. Like, you got to wait a year, people. Like, there's not going to be more Huckleberry Jam content. <laughs> right. You got to wait. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going, you know, be extra careful that I'm not, you know, flashing the camera every time I bend over, or do something gardening. And... <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to put overalls on with no, nothing underneath, you know. <laughs> there is not enough sunscreen. No, there's Darn it. <laughs> and and I'm too Sorry. old for that. <laughs> well, and yeah, and I got I got a 50, 
almost 15 year old kid. Like, come on, yeah. have some, yeah. 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 some self-respect. I know where to find the, uh, the no panty, no bra videos. So yeah, I don't need to go to gardening channels to see that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's got its own place, right? Well, you know, then it I got does. The it does. Your only gardeners. Breast cancer mm -hmm. scars. Oh <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ooh, yummy. You know? <laughs> yeah. It wouldn't work if I took my shirt off. I'm covered in scars. My whole upper body is just covered in scars. So it yeah. wouldn't marks. be real sexy. Yeah. I don't want to have to shave before I garden. <laughs> you know, like sometimes, sometimes when i'm not filming i'm gardening in my pajamas <laughs> mm -hmm. oh yeah my poor neighbors like the fo the photos they could show yeah like if i did become famous oh my god yeah oh i i did they could be selling running. stuff to the you know the pole, talk, the... talk about the neighbors i did run into one situation the lady across the street american indian nice looking lady she ran out to the mailbox wearing only her panties. So I was like, <gasps> uh, okay. <laughs> I guess today was that day. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. One day, years no, and years she, ago. She was, her top was covered, but wearing her panties. I was like, yeah. We were okay. at the bus suit. No. We were at the, we were at the <laughs> bus stop. It was like minus 30, middle of a snowstorm, freezing cold. Yeah. We're all bundled up. The kids are getting on the bus and all of a sudden we hear, wait, wait, wait. And I look over mm. and there's mm. this young guy running. He's wearing Sorry. boots and his wife's silk robe. Nice. <laughs> and nothing else. Nice. Nice. <laughs> and nice. he's yelling at the bus. <laughs> and we were dying. Dude, <laughs> buddy couldn't, did not come to the bus stop the rest of the week. Like we did not see him for a while yeah. after that. Um, you know, and he had to have been. I was the bus so cold, it, it, and I think he was regretting this very short silk robe um, at that moment. If if I was like the his bus winter driver, coat was I'd probably in, longer. If I was a bus driver, I'd put it in gear and floor it and get the hell out of there, dude. <laughs> no, don't come to the no. <laughs> I felt bad. Yeah, it's some, it's some nice legs, not gonna lie. But um, well, actually, yeah. I am gonna also have to drop down. So thank you, yeah. Laura, for having me on for your first yeah. hour. Uh, I've got a I've got a private voice lesson. So I've been trying to go because I'm not taking them to the studio. But it's like okay, I'll teach her here. But it's like so I go. I gotta clean up my desk. <laughs> you guys don't, don't all see what's you know what's going on here. Yeah. Just, oh yeah, you do not want to see. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, this thank you for uh, having me. Hi, Maureen. And you guys, you all guys have I have day. nothing to do. <laughs> Later, I, you know what it was like, well, that's why I was, I thought, well, you could just listen at least, but it's like, this is, I'm, I'm enjoying this. This is so great, but you got to clean up your students coming. So yeah. anyway, have thank a great you day, everyone. Bye -bye. Really nice yeah, thanks for having me. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah, we booked today off because my daughter had the ortho appointment or this afternoon. We didn't know how yeah. long that was going to go. So. <laughs> yeah, my only small gardening victory today was I just cut the front grass. And Ooh. I had one it's full so bag of that discount top potting soil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with, it was full of the uh, full of the gnats, and Ugh. that went in the grass with some grass seeds on top of it. It's out of here. I'm not messing with that stuff no, anymore. No, that stuff's you know? nasty. And and I tried, you know, I got some other plants that are potted, and I did the neem oil on them, and it kills them on contact, and the mosquito bits in the soil, which works for just a couple days, because if one survives, there goes 300 more eggs. Yeah. So I took some of my potted plants and I put diatomaceous earth all over the surface. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and come out of there. I dare you, you know. Yeah. The rest of the potting soil, it's it's in the front yard. Let the natural predators eat those little gnat eggs you know yeah yeah i frustrating potting mix like it's it makes such a difference because the mm -hmm. best way to deal with it uh, with the uh, fungus gnats is not to get them yeah exactly <laughs> i learned a hard lesson right there rachel a hard yeah lesson mm -hmm. it's tricky yep shawnee you keep fish tanks love fish tanks we used to have one yeah but then we had my daughter and the dog and my husband's like no this is too much work yeah he was done <laughs> i did learn a good tip on youtube uh, university of youtube mm -hmm. buy smaller bags that are dry 
if the if the large bags sit outside in the rain and they get soaking wet, like the, those two it. huge bags were, yeah, don't buy those. Leave them mm -hmm. leave them right where you find them. Go inside the store, get the smaller bags that are dry, and reduce yeah. the chance of the of the gnats. You know. Well, and also if the water becomes really, um, if they're they get waterlogged, they can become anaerobic. Um, mm -hmm. The soil is mm -hmm. not great anyway. So yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and they're freaking heavy. Oh yes, yeah. They are. Oh, <laughs> so, I know that. I, well, I hate buying those. Well, I don't mind I, if it's I, the only, buy it, the only stuff that was available was the frozen stuff outside. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you know, that's why I got fungus gnats in the house. Mm mm mm. Yeah, yeah, I was cool. getting I was getting ready to do one of these. Just start throwing them out, <laughs> throwing the plants out. I was that close, you know. What do you exactly. got there? So on a seed. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Bob. No, go ahead. On a seed packet, when you open it, this is okay, right? Like the kids' glue to reseal them. Should be. Little, uh, um, I don't see why not. If it it could stick too much, I use washi tape. Yeah, I got Scott's tape, but I ran out of it. The Christmas washi, stuff, it smells like... Washi tape. Say it again. Washi tape. You can buy it at the dollar store. It's like decorative, cute little tapes for um, journaling and things. But it will oh. stick to paper. It's It's got a very low tack, and it will stick to paper, but you can peel okay. it off and on again. That's what I use for all my my um, soil blocks and packets. Yeah. You would see what CR put... CR, CR put in the side comment. I might clean two so <laughs> and and soil myself. CR, I didn't fire you last week, but this week you are fired. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Just wear a diaper and it's all good. Uh, get your cleaning done. Do what you gotta do. That's right. Yeah, these things happen. <laughs> You just don't understand that guy. I have to fire him all the time. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, some people need firing. <laughs> hey, the GT. What do you got there now? What Which seed pack you got there now, Billy? Really? Oh, boy. Show us what well, you got. I'm building seed banks. Oh. I mailed three out. Cost me 60 bucks. It says 30 bucks going out to Are India. Are you using... Um, Ooh, pirate shipping? Regular shipping. I don't know. Just pirate mail, shipping. Mail, post office. No, yeah. don't go to the post office. No, go. Oh, well, pirate yeah. shipping. That's who Jesse uses from Lazy Days Ahead. Much I cheaper than. Pirate shipping is. I don't have any plate. The closest mail place is 10 miles from us. Well, a lot of times you can just print out stuff from these different websites and then drop it off at your local place. Mm -hmm. And they'll accept that. They're like, oh, it's already paid for. Well, mm -hmm. look at, yeah, just look it up and see how it is in your area. You know, the places here. Yeah. In Newfoundland. Oh, boy. Oh, Lord. Newfoundland? Oh, well, that's why you're shipping to Canada. That's a different story altogether. Although yeah. pirate shipping does help. Although here in Canada, there's one, it's also called Chit Chats. And there's another one called Stallion Shipping. Can't see it. Postal United service. States Postal Service. Mm -hmm. Oh. Twenty nine seventy to ship to India, seventeen dollars to ship to Canada, Newfoundland, and five thirty five to ship to New York. Send seeds That's out. Ridiculous. Yeah. And some seeds today in an envelope with like a card mm -hmm. and just some stamps. And I dropped it in the box and I'm just hoping it makes it across. I've done that several times and it's worked. I haven't had a problem so far, but I'm yeah. always a little nervous, but I've sent, I've sent, um, oh, and it's probably risky. I did sourdough a starter that way. That could, yeah. Yeah. As long as you don't say what it is. So, yeah. Well, you, yeah. You oh, Shawnee, absolutely. I hope it make it here. Yeah. Uh, well, and at least with that, you have the tracking, right? So that's good too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Shipping across Canada is insanity. It is. Well, my ship is expensive. Stuff for five bucks. And oh. my parents are in Alaska. So. Oh, wow. I shipped like a small box last year for Christmas. It wasn't heavy. There wasn't a lot in it. And it was $40. Wow. Paying for that airplane fuel. <laughs> yep. 
we got family over in the Philippines who found the cheapest way to send anything is what's called a Balak Bayan box. It's three feet by three feet, and it's 60 bucks. But anything made of gra- glass will be broken, and it takes about three to four months to get there because it's by ship. It's not by air. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, I a lot of people sending... here do like the um, barrels. Barrels. Mm-hmm. And yeah. they ship them down to like the Caribbean or India. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I I I, uh, I sent a lot of things like uh, glass candle holders, different things because they're all Catholic and they like that candle stuff, you know. Right. Oh, they all got smashed to bits before they got there, so it's like, yeah. Yeah. But but I did send. I used to send stuff UPS, FedEx, and USPS. Oh, ho, 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 to go across the Pacific. Oh, baby, oh. they're going to charge you. Oh yeah, they're charging they outside charge the airport. Crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta stand outside Philippine Airlines with the box unopened. Here's what's in it. Take it with you. <laughs> well, how far are you from Elo? Elo? Probably uh, by air. Probably in forty minutes by air. Mm. Elo Elo is up in the Bisaya Islands, and we're down way down in South Mindanao, where the where okay. the crazy people live, you know, oh. <laughs> Muslim area. So, yeah. Well, so excuse me, where are you at? I'm in Seattle right now, but we've got oh. family and, and a retirement house over in the Philippines too. Oh, okay. A lot of crazy people in Seattle too. Oh uh, yeah. It's actually riskier <laughs> to live here in Seattle than it is in Mindanao with all the Muslims. It really is. It's great. It's just nuts, man. But Aunt lives in um, just south of there. Um, gosh, what's it called? Tacoma. No, no, it's a small. I I grew up in Oregon. I grew up in Salem. That was where I spent my oh. formative years. So, mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. but I can't. She just moved. It's 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 down near Puyallup. So I can't remember what it. Oh, okay. Is, um, yeah. yeah, Oregon used to be, uh, used to be beautiful. I've seen mm-hmm. pictures of I've, Oregon recently. Portland and still is beautiful crashed. as long as we don't go in into the big city area. Portland, yeah. When I see what's happened to Portland, it's just mm-hmm. it's so sad because it was yeah. such an amazing. It was a it was a big city, but it was a small. City, I mean, like mm-hmm. it just it had everything. It had a real it, nice vibe. It was, it was always small. a little weird, right? You know, keep Portland yeah. weird, but Seattle um, was too. Yeah, Portlandia and all that. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, then it just kind of went down the. As soon as a, an area is, is designated as a sanctuary area, you just yeah. lost it. You just yeah. lost it. It's gone. You know. Well, I mean, just the yeah. I mean, just the level of of crime and just not caring about anything. It's just mm-hmm. yeah. when Walmart pulls out of an area. Yeah. Oh. You know something's gone wrong, right? Yeah. 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 Walmart. Oh, okay. Walmart's yeah. pulled out of Portland. Yeah, Walmart pulled out of downtown Portland. So. You guys just they they can handle it, yeah. that on the outskirts first. Actually, the crime was even worse on the outskirts. Shush. Rocky Anybody Ford. know the weight ratio on a Rocky Ford green flesh melon? Three pound, one pound, two pound, five pound, seven pound, nine pound? No idea. Any Rachel's definitely Googling. <laughs> Find yeah. a Rocky Ford green flesh melon. It says um, average two to three pounds and five inch diameter. What? No, this is one of the minis. Ooh. I had no clue. I'll bill you later. Yeah. <laughs> <You're charged. laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> I'm like doing nothing, his homework over here. Yeah. <laughs> nothing's free. Nothing's free, mister. What's the matter, Billy? You don't know how to Google? <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, it's not even hard. You just say literally, hello, Google. Hello, oh. Google. Yeah. Our Siri. <laughs> Or I rely on this turn... for most of my info. Oh, to good remember thing stuff. I have my headphones. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. So, so two pounds on average. I'll be the Jesse today. Two to three pounds, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm the Jesse in the chat today. Here we go. A Jesse in the chat. There you go. <laughs> we all need a Jesse. Jesse or Lisa. Lisa now, does. see, look at them. They don't put out much content. They just, they just, they just go live they every freaking day. For hours. For hours. And hours. What channel? And here, I would, uh, Lazy Days Ahead. 
people to do it while I'm driving, right? Like mm -hmm. you got nothing else to do. You, I want to know what their data plan is for one thing. Um, yeah, seriously. But for me, like the driving around here is so crazy. Mm -hmm. I would need a three second delay yeah. and a producer. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, Lisa sleeping purposes her. because yeah. yeah. He drives and she messages and does all that. Or the, the, the road rage. Yeah. The comments. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. No, yeah. I, I could do it. I would have to set up a different channel. <laughs> <laughs> and not worry about losing monetization. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, Brampton is considered the Florida of Canada. So is um, it? Yeah. It's like Brampton man. It's like Florida mm. man. Yeah. It's mm. it's crazy here. Yeah. And the driving is just insane. It's really bad here in Clarksville, Tennessee, and and in Na Nashville. They call Nashville Smashville. It's so bad. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. I like that. Yeah, that's great. I think it's because you know Fort Lewis is right there. You got all these young, and a lot of them are pilots. You know, um, helicopter pilots and stuff, and they just they are just crazy drivers. It's like. As soon as you see that they're, you know, it's like they'll whiz by you and it's like, yep, there's that military plate, you know, and mm. it's just like, yeah. Well, my yeah, daughter and I, whenever they, we go anywhere, we get in the car and we're like, all right. I said, okay, how many u turns before we get there? <laughs> <laughs> we always do that. So like what ridiculous nonsense mm -hmm. are we going to see? Right. Um, eh, I'm married to an Asian lady. Stupid. <laughs> Asian <mistakes>. drivers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can say that, dude. <laughs> What's true? I'm married to an Asian lady. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it's around here it doesn't seem to matter. Yeah. Down here, they just go through red lights. It's like, oh, it's turning red, but it's still turning. Ooh. So it's okay. I'll just go right through. Just keep going. Yeah. Press yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. And then like, one day, really really going going. Going. no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Just because the light's green, you just you still got to look both ways. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. You don't go. Yeah, you do. And there's always that one driver going to the green light while it's turned yellow doing this. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's worse. That's oh, worse yeah, than not... drinking. If they're, I have to honk so many times when I'm out, mm -hmm. especially in the left turn lane. Mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, and then I'm, I get so mad if I miss my light. Yeah. Because they were ahead of me. And then I get mad. I'm like five cars back and I'm the one honking. <laughs> like, is everyone else asleep? Like, what the heck? Like, yeah. why am I the only person paying attention here? It's it's like <sighs> that here. They they're they're they just let everybody go through. Like they'll stop in the middle of the road so that somebody can take a turn sometimes. And you're like, oh, really? Yeah. You're, that, that so you're almost causing an accident to let somebody go through. <laughs> yeah. That drives me nuts. It's like, I know you think you're being super sweet and super nice right now, but you no, know, like you're just being more of a hazard than anything else. Never heard of it, Billy. Maturas. It, it's from India. Oh. I gathered that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. With the mash you <laughs> I, I gathered that. Um, um, oh, it's the weight on this thing. It doesn't say the weight. It says all the growing it, stuff. No, it oh. doesn't say the weight. Hold on. Okay. Baker Creek has their website. Like they don't have enough information. No. I don't know. Um, I see the guy's hand. I it's, don't know. A small, Is that three or it's a small but delicious three. five. It weighs about 4.3. 1.73 pounds. Four to five <laughs> who the pounds, heck right? is this guy? <laughs> like, who the heck is this person? 1.6.4.5.2221 of an ounce. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, I don't know. You know what? I'm going okay, to, I, I can put the link in the chat. It won't be linkable because I'm not. A, um, no, here, just four to five pounds. Check this guy out. If he's going to be that precise, he might be the guy to watch, to go watch, to go read his blog on, on growing. He's a man of averages. He's probably weighed everyone he's ever He's grown. not an average man. No. No. Average. Yeah. 
we, I we guarantee can go with four to five pounds. A single one, and it's sitting on a spreadsheet. Mm. And that's oh, how we're getting this. Yeah. So between one and a half to two pounds. My husband was like, just, just one and a half to two pounds. I'm going to round that up for you. See, I am more of a rounder. Yeah, I'm sure. a rounder too. I'm an ish kind of person. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. So About we can say these pounds. are two pound, two pound melon. Two pounds. <laughs> 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 Sorry. That's, 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 that's the guy's ish or round, round. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's about this. pollinated. It's small, but it's about this big. Um, yeah. It's small but delicious. <laughs> it's about you know, you know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm safe to just jot on two pounds, right? So it's yes. I want to yes, know if I can trellis it. Two pounds um, and it's trellisable, probably. Yeah, buddy's got it in a pot on a trellis. I'm telling you here. Hold on, let's do this. I can figure this out. Well, guys, I, I'll I'll catch you all later. I'm gonna go cut the grass in the backyard and continue digging that old rotten stump out. Ooh. Oh, there you go. Man, look at those. Look at those. Look at those. Look at those. He's Mahu got Ross it Miller. in a pot. All right. Yep. All right, Bob. Peace out, you guys. Take care. Nice. Adios, Later. Bob. Au revoir. It is exceptionally sweet, much like me. Um, between <laughs> honey and nectar, again. Um, there you go. So, yeah. So he did he did some like sliding scale kind of thing. He took all the weights of every every one of them and then yeah. He also does kajari melons. Kajari. Which I know those are tinies, tiny tiny. I would love to grow kajari. <gasps> I need those. Who's got them? In chat, anybody? Who's got them? Send them. I don't. Um I know Danny might have some i don't i don't even i tried the sugar baby watermelons and my plants got stolen when they were like oh, two wow. feet high they got dragged out of wherever by some i don't know raccoon squirrel chipmunk whatever so oh, um yeah i don't think i get enough hot enough long enough here for really for the melons yeah we get hot enough long most enough. Melons, the bugs don't get them then. Yeah, most melons need three months. 90 days, you, oh, you're okay with 90 days for most smaller species. If you got yeah. the um, uh, tendril verde tardif type, they look like a weird seed. Mm. What is it? Okay, peel the sapo. Peel the sapo, those take about 110 days. And then the Tardif type take 120 days. Kill the Sapo, yeah. That's them with the little military color. Oops, so I had the wrong thing, sorry. Yeah, kill the Sapo. And those are huge. You're talking seven to nine pounds. That's a, those these these get really big. I don't think I want to trellis them. I mean I can try. I don't know. Then you get the nightmares of 120 some days. Really big. Uh, you have to have some support on that. Yeah, like you got to go to the thrift store and buy some old bra. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the dollar store bra. Oh, melon holders. <laughs> melon holders. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Yep. The over-the-shoulder boulder holder. There you go. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay. Or you could use nylons. Those work too. Oh yeah. Not a... Am I hearing myself in the background? I don't know. There's no echo here, so. I'm just wondering if, like, I have another screen open somewhere that I'm. Huh. Never mind. I'm just come going crazy. It's okay. It's okay. Good. That's all. Well, no, no biggie. Well, I think How do you I'm say it is? 
Sharon Tess. Sharon Tess. Sharon Tess. How to pronounce Sharon Tess? Hold on. Uh, push the button. <laughs> I don't know what I just heard. Okay. Sharentes. <laughs> Sharentes. 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 Oh, I can't roll anything. I don't have the tongue to roll stuff. Sharentes. <laughs> I wish I could. I, I don't think I can play it. In Oh, well, I, I gotta, can change. Here, let me change out over to the regular headphones. Hold on. Let me do that for a second. I got to go. So oh. I'm going to wrap it up, mm -hmm. guys. Yeah, I got to get dinner made. So, all right, you guys, much love. Thank you for coming up. Thank you for coming on the side chat. Yeah, hey, yeah. It. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Bye, guys. There you go. Later. Adios.